Everybody knows I hate fat asses. See, the numbers don't lie. When you scup on a scale that skyrockets past 300 pounds, you might be a little overweight. So right now, you are 100% fat ass. But if you eliminate the beer, the potato chips, the french fries, you got a 50% chance of losing weight. But since you like donuts and Skittles also, eliminate those and your chances of losing weight are a 47 and two-thirds chance. But right now, I believe you will remain 100% Fat ass. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. Shut the fuck up. Follow alert. Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Oh, he's doing the meat. Oh, this is strange. I want to mail you a spoon on a daily fucking basis. Phil's a racist, Phil's a sexist, Phil's this, Phil's that. I am who I am, I am fucking based. Eat it, kiss my fucking ass, and lick my ball. Eat it, fucking eat it. The chap, oh, he's doing the meat. Dog. Oh, this is strange. Eat it, eat it, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> to curate my content that I watch. I had a segment where I got incredibly animated and emotional and upset. Ass smelling, crystal bathing, lard garling, calorie eating, blah, big bottles gorging, wine low, hungry hungry hippo, yoga zula, whale slash free willy, you fat fucking disgusting fuck, cheese drinking, Welcome to the Swaycast episode, um, I forgot, nine? Nine! That's an interesting number. Uh, and today, uh, the dude didn't even make his own broadcast. I don't even know what's up with him. Is he even alive? Did he, um, did he have an accident yesterday due to low tips? Like a tips-related accident? Because there is no broadcast, dude. He's supposed to be streaming today. He's supposed to be showing up to work and working. But it's, it's not working. I don't know what happened. Uh, but we're going to check out his daily rap from yesterday. Oh, man. It hasn't been good in the Brunel household. He is disheartened. He is concerned. Uh, you might even say he's nervous. And when you hear those words coming out of uh, the good old pig roach mouth, then you know things are bad. And today is the day, the last day, the final day of, of the month 
which means that he's going to be begging super crazy for uh, YouTube side contribution style, which means it's going to be a very interesting uh, day. Hey, big ups for the, for the five gifts, Sigmoid. Big ups, dude. And shout out to Incorrect Beans for the seven months. Hi, boyfriend. Have some spoons. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everybody who listened to the, the song. The latest style song. It's probably the, the most popular one within the few, first few days. So anyways, um, first, I wanted to show you a quick recap on uh, the good old uh, X machine. Of what has happened in the last couple of days, I've been gone. It's been very disheartening, like I said. Uh, we go to the good old friend, Gamer Face Gaming. And we're going to start from the very last stream, and we're going to keep scrolling for the next uh, couple of days. No, today is not supposed to be his day off. It's supposed to be tomorrow. But he didn't publish a broadcast, so nobody knows what's up, dude. He might not even not exist. He must have uh, decided to disassociate himself from existence. So first, we have yesterday late stream. Uh, Tekken 8 Night Fights, January number 30, 2024. And we're sitting at 27 buckaroos. And this is, I, I, I can't tell you how much begging there was on this stream. It was actually like, it's almost, I, I would even constitute it as harassment. It was, <laughs> it was fucking harassing the shit out of people to, to support. And it just didn't work, man. I don't know what happened. It legitimately just simply didn't work. So we got 27 here. We got 11 from one guy, which is Sir Ed Sheeran, which is Canadian Kirk's sock account because DSP told him to come back on a sock account. And it immediately became obvious that this guy is Canadian Kirk. Uh, then we got just, uh, you know, 10 American dollars in Super Chats. Take away 30% from that, and that's what he's going to be making. Then we get, um, we get the day stream. Hold on. Was this the day stream? Huh? Uh, I think it was. Did he play Tekken on both streams? No. Well, anyways, here's another stream from uh, the 30th. Apparently, it's the day. He, did he legit play take, Tekken on both days? On both streams? Oh, well, did, yeah, he actually did. Actually did. Well, anyways. <laughs> and then he's wondering why it's not working. This dude is so stupid. And here we got a 33. 33 on a third chance of winning Samoa Joe. And then we got, of course, this is a 33 with the 1 minute 25. So technically, if you want to be very generous when it comes to mathematics style, you got $8. And we got 12 in Super Chat. Super positive. Next one is the day before. And not, not the game. The actual day before. 29th. We got a 26. And 20 of it was from Dan the Man. So this is the late stream on the 29th. What was the 29th? It was the Monday. Monday Night Raw. And he was staking it raw for sure. And you can see, man, in this whole time, you got to keep in mind, he was begging his ass off. He was begging to, like, unseen degrees before. Almost like having meltdowns about how much he needs the money. Here we got a quick nap because we got a refresh on the energy, of course. And then we got the day stream, which is uh, Yakuza like a beggar. He was talking about, like, some Asian dude having, like, a small cock. And that's basically the highlight of this episode. Look at it. It's like a little gummy worm. Dude, it's like, it's like actually that's smaller than a gummy bear. Holy shit. It's okay. I'm not the Yakuza anymore. It's like a pair of Skittles next to a combo. There we go. And I, I don't even know what else happened. Yeah, we got the day before that. I think I might have been around that point or not. I don't fucking know. But anyways, you got it here. 57 and some idiot. Send him 20 of that. But anyways, I think you got the point. It hasn't been working. Uh, and yes, uh, also this happened on Sunday. Very fun. I, I love that moment. Uh, so that's what we got. Now we're going to watch the daily wrap from yesterday, the 30th. And it was fucking greasy. I know you can see here and see that it's only, oh, dude, it's only five minutes. That means it's not serious. Oh, my God. You, you got no idea. You actually got no idea what's happening. You got no idea what's happening, my dude. My homes. Okay. Can we get a pop-up for this one? Oh. Okay. 
There we go. Do we? The countdown has we begun. Go. Today is going to be very, very beggy. Would you eat, drink, or smell cheese? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> the countdown has... Yeah, 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 I got it, because I, I replayed it multiple times. Would I eat, drink, or smell cheese? Perhaps eat it, since I, I'm, I'm used to eating the cheese, so I'm going to stick with that, even if there's easier ways of consuming it. Uh, so, yes, this is it. Uh, the post-stream daily wrap from yesterday. Uh, if you ask my opinion before we've started, if I have to lock in my pick, I think he's going to beg super hard style. But somebody's going to send him $100 to shut him up. They have to. Like, they just kind of have to. But the thing with today is it's only special if you send him $100 on, a, like, a YouTube side contribution so he can get them, like, at the end of next month. So today is actually not special at all. Except he wants to make it seem like it's special because, well... It, it, he needs that money. Hey everyone, Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 30th of January, 2024. Oh, did he set up the broadcast today, already? Because I played Tekken all day today. On the first he must day, have woken up. Offline modes, for example, doing customizations for this new character, Jun Kazama. Yeah, he did. Play with. Yeah, look at this. Because uh, these didn't exist a couple of minutes ago. Like, when I started my stream, these two didn't exist. So it, it goes to say that he pretty much wakes up around 10 minutes before his stream is supposed to start. Very cool. Made two custom outfits for her. I think both of them. And I'm gonna skip this custom outfit. Becoming a member, no one gifting membership. Oh, there we go. There it is. We almost like immediately, dude. And uh, yes, so this first part is uh, actually I might play it because it's important. Because here we get a textbook dark side fill begging segment. Because first we start talking about how much fun he had and how much he loves the game. He really loves it. He's saying this so he can make it your fault for not, uh, for not donating. You'll see that later because we transition right into, but for some reason, I, I don't know what happened. And you'll see, this is a textbook example. It's a perfect pre-stream when it comes to that. Good evening, everyone. Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 30th of January, 2024, also known as Tekken Tuesday, because I played Tekken all day today. On the first stream, I did offline modes, for example, doing customizations for this new character, June Kazama, that I wanted to play with. I made two custom outfits for her. Hello, June. But one of them looks a lot better. Um, then we went into arcade quest mode, and we played with June Kazama against AI in that mode. Um, to level her up, you know, learn how to use her combos, mix-ups, uh, you know, different setups and the like. Uh, and it worked well. I got much better with her over the course of the day. I not only beat Arcade Quest mode by the end of the stream, which was really cool, but then on top of that, there's some AIs in the game that you can play as extra wow. challenge. And I went to them Dude. and I actually beat the AI that supposedly is the AI of Harada, the game developer. Dude, look at how much fun he's having. And he's better than the game developer that designed the game. Wow. And I got a gold trophy for beating it and everything. You see, he's so, so good. A ton of stuff playing on the first stream. Then on the late stream, we w took June online and ranked get multiplayer. Look it at how hype it is. Really good. That was it's like the best time anybody's ever had on this planet. Look at this. But for some reason, oh, we're going to get to that. It was the best session that I've had by far. Tons of cool combos, tons of gameplay, learning counter moves, learning how to bait people, punishing stuff. I, the punishes are really important in this game, and I knew her punish, which is great. So it went really, really well, and I had a great, great time tonight. He had a great, great time tonight, guys. Remember, it's very important that you understand how amazing the streams were. In Tekken, viewership was high, all right? But I'm sure they were high. I'm sure they were hitting up the crack pipe every 30 seconds i don't doubt that i can <laughs> imagine if i had to stay until like 5 a.m to watch him play tekken i need to be on some, some hardcore shit for some reason all day support was slow huh on the first stream and second stream i didn't even hit a tier one tips call i think i got maybe like five super chats all day no exaggeration and I don't think I even got a single new membership. It was all just renewed memberships. This is the problem that I keep telling you guys about is not only did I need this week to be very strong, but I'm screwed already. I'm behind because of the fake memberships and no one is becoming a member right now. It's just a few people who are true fans renewing and everyone else. <laughs> the no true fans. Member, no one gifting <laughs> memberships and it's killing me. Wait, wait, wait. They are gifting memberships. You don't like them. You just don't like them. That's the problem. <laughs> All right. And then on top of that, to have a day where actually the tips were slow too is like really bad. So here's the thing. 
if everyone showed up for today, everyone enjoyed the streams. Okay. It was good. Engagement was good. What's going on? There we go. This is this is the end game of this whole Argentina segment. Commissioned me to make an animation of the pig. Please react to it if you feel like it folded hands. Uh, sure. Yeah, I I don't mind doing that. Just send me the link or tag me on Twitter or something, and I'll I'll see it. So this is what we've been leading up to for two minutes now. It's this. It's you guys, you fucking idiots, tell me what happened. You fucking idiots, tell me why you're not paying me up, even though I just told you we had an amazing stream. Right? Because here's the thing. I don't want to become the guy who just plays Baldur's Gate 3 all day. Well, I mean, at this point, it doesn't seem like you have much choice, guy. You just kind of have to be. I'll be honest with you. I got bored of playing it so much. He's bored I now. I was happy that this week we were doing variety. All month, people were saying Baldur's Gate too much. Baldur's Gate. Too and now we just we just go back to the stupid fucking schedule with all the games, and we just start talking about games, man. Like this dude. And I've seen this very segment like a thousand times. It's always exactly the same, and it ends with him being so annoying that somebody just gives up and gives him money for him to shut up. They just send him like a hundred dollars and they're like, okay, okay, I get it, man. Shut the fuck up. Here's the money. And then he thinks that the people loving the playthrough again. So he can have 10 streams of Yakuza where he makes pennies and then somebody sends him a hundred dollars, just one guy. And he's like, oh, it's nice to see you guys love the game now. Too much. Can't wait for the new releases. Well, the new releases are out. So what gives? I really need what to know gives. Oh, he's straight up telling you what gives. What's going on, and I'm not gonna listen to trolls completely talking out of their buttholes like they like always what? do, saying stupid. St dog, dog. Trolls pay attention to your stuff more than your actual fans. Stupid things, you know. Listen, I have a right to stick up for myself and call out idiots on the internet who are making fun of me when what? I say something factual. And, and we're we're going back to the the meme. Is that what we're going back to? Do you think that has something to do with people not giving you money? About me and my life? But no, he just felt like he got super toxic and upset because people didn't give him money. So we got to default to shitting on the trolls. We got to distract people from being like, oh, look at the trolls. They're so mad at me. You know what's going to make them so mad? If you actually uh, give me money, you guys. And they want to make <laughs> a negative meme out of it. They're scumbags. And they have no place in my content, nor do they have no place on this planet. Wow. All they we get genocidal Phil again. They do. They exist just to make fun of others <laughs> to make themselves feel good. They're scum. Yes. So I know that's not the case because after the stream that they keep bringing up, actually, I had a really good Sunday. Whoa, right? so crazy. Bullshit. Did you? Making stuff up. But what? What? what is supposed to be the point in that? What is supposed to be that point? I don't get it. After the stream they bring up, I had a good Sunday. What is the logic supposed to be? That he, that he was fucking, uh, he was super toxic on Saturday and he had a melt mental breakdown, but then that didn't make his audience go away. Uh, except this one cuck who actually went away and went to, to post on Twitter about it so he can get ass pats. He can get a, a hug. But you my, can get a, a hand job from some detractor out there. Question is, why is it that now I'm playing Like a Dragon and Tekken, and all of a sudden the support is completely dried up for these games when they're brand new? You know, I dropped a lot of money eh, to these go. games, so it just sets me back even further. So if you're truly a fan, I want feedback. I want to know what's going on. Do you have an opinion on this? Do you just want more Baldur's <laughs> Gate? You know, let's see what the the true and honest DSP fans' opinions are from. Uh... Wow, this is a big opinion, man. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna read the whole thing. I'll just let the bot read it because this shit is ass. Not trying to come off as mean or insulting at all, but I think it's just a bad business model. I understand the <laughs> logic behind it. If people enjoy the content, then they'll support it. As you don't have sponsorships or. Oh my God, this bot voice is very convincing, man. I'm gonna marry that woman. Or any other source of income, enjoyment directly equaling financial support. For years, you've said that it's not your viewer's responsibility to get you out of whatever hole you were in at the time, and no one should feel bad for not supporting. However, that's the business model. Yo, this is actually wild that she, he approved this comment. Because this is fucking... <laughs> this guy is getting embodied. How did he approve this? This My is what a fucking troll would say. People have been saying this for like 10 years now. Model. Where if people enjoy it, then you are expecting them to be charitable towards you daily. The responsibility is on them completely. 
there's only a finite amount of money that your fans can give you during a certain time. They also have bills, emergencies, their own video games or online subscriptions they want to keep on, and their own paycheck and reasons they can't directly give you their hard-earned money at that time. Or they just don't want to. That's perfectly okay too. You don't have to fucking make justifications why not to give somebody on the internet money. They can go fuck themselves. Time. Who are, who are you to explain yourself to them? Like, like, who does this guy think he is? No, I can just not give him money because I don't feel like it. He can be my favorite YouTuber ever, and I don't have to give him money at any point for any reason. Time. So when you keep going on about low support and how people must not be enjoying games being a day stream or whatever, think about the trolls less and more about your actual fans sitting there feeling bad about not being able to help you out of your financial hole. <laughs> that's, that's wild. That's wild, man. Imagine getting bodied like this in your own comment section and you approved the comment. You approved it. And the whole fucking thing, oh my god, we're gonna be talking about Yakuza again. The the Don Doko Island or that fucking shit. And the only look at this. The only guy that he liked, uh whose comment he liked was OP Boone, the AI cuck. Because he gave him some idea to make a community poll on the fucking on the tab. Yeah, epic. Epic. So let's see what he says. In uh which bot wrote it. Because just because a bot wrote it, I'm gonna read the I'm gonna let the bot uh read it as well. I and also I'm I'm gonna take this bot and make a JOI channel out of it. It's gonna be so hot. I'm I'll get a billion views. It's an innovative idea for content. Think you can do community tab polls regularly to help gauge interest in your current playthroughs. Like a poll asking what people's favorite playthrough is right now. Another poll can ask what upcoming new wow, releases polls. people are most excited for. And another idea is a poll to ask what on hold playthrough people want to come Wow, back. more polls. Back. <laughs> I think this can give you good direct feedback as opposed to just stream. <laughs> all this fucking feedback, man. All this feedback. For, for DSP, feedback is just telling him what he wants to hear. That is what feedback is. If you tell him something he doesn't want to hear, he will say your feedback is invalid. And he's just not going to follow it. And he's going to call you an idiot. That's just what happens. That's the nature of the beast. Streaming and seeing how it goes. Think of doing a poll at least once a week to always keep your finger on the pulse of what your audience is most interested in. Bro, when are you going to understand he doesn't give a fuck about this? He gives a fuck about the transaction between him playing a specific video game and you giving him money for it. That's all he cares about. That's what it's all about. So here we got, okay, this is, uh, this is a pretty interestingly long one, uh, but it starts with being brutally honest. So uh, I expect brutal honestly from Sarah Barclay. Well, let's see how brutal we get. Being brutally honest this past week or so it's felt like you have made some decisions based on your emotions slash desires, not what your supporters want and what is best for your business. You did get way too emotional during that podcast segment and played right into your haters' hands MO. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and remember you're running a business. Would you honestly support a business whose owner and Is the pulse in his ear because that's where his fingers always are? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it is. I think you might get a pretty good idea of his pulse from his, uh, from his ear picking style habits. You know, that's a very good point. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's move on with this. Big ups, uh, Garrido for the dollar. Response to immature trolling was shouting, swearing, and screaming for 30 plus minutes like that? I was honestly shocked watching that, and it made me feel uncomfortable. It felt like I was watching 2016 <laughs> DSP again. <laughs> Even the hardcore cucks are getting embodied, bro. It, it's like, imagine having to explain to a 41-year-old man that having a mental breakdown on the internet, knowing fully well people are going to make fun of you for that is actually not good for you or your business. It's actually not good. Go figure. Wow. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, big ups to AMAC for the five gifts, dude. Big bomb. Again. Furthermore, like Boone suggested, you should run more polls so you can see what your fans actually want to see. I can't believe anyone was genuinely asking for more like a dragon after you'd already played two lengthy like a dragon games in 2023 that had very low support. 
Baldur's Gate 3 has clearly been a hit with your fans and has been consistently well supported for yeah, over a yeah, month yeah. and had great momentum. Dropping your most consistently supported game for a week and then telling all your supporters you were getting bored of playing it so much was always going to end in disaster. Imagine if McDonald's decided for a week to stop making- <laughs> And this, this little Dan knows him so well that we give him a huge McDonald's analogy just so we know he's gonna get it right. Just so we know he's gonna understand it. <laughs> Dude, the... Imagine McDonald's, okay? The Big Mac or fries because they got bored of always making it. So instead they could focus on making the third iteration of a hamburger that they know full well no one likes and never <laughs> sells. I do do hope support picks up. I don't, uh, but thank you regardless, uh, Mr. Sarah Barkley. So yeah, we got it, you guys. We figured it out with the help of all the dents. They came together and uh, they, uh, they contributed with their ideas. So uh, hold on. Uh, somebody in chat says that he's blaming not making the broadcast on being stressed out. So today we're going to see like peak depression DSP. Oh yeah, he says, I'm well aware of what stress can do to your health. Yeah, you seem like it. Maybe you should just get a job so you're not stressed out as much over which game you should play every given day. I don't know, dude. It's almost like it's self-inflicted or something. I don't know. I'm very confused right now. I'd prefer if Phil got genocided. See her smoke Sherm, slap him around, call <laughs> him a bish PD file beggar on stream. That would be really fun, man. I, I wish Jenna was in, in some part of his content. Or they got Cat, they baited Cat into talking about Jenna. That would be interesting. Alert. Big ups from the UK. Finally got my gout license. Hey, finally. It was about time, dude. It was about time. Now we can join all the other geezers with their own gout licenses and their own TV licenses. Ah, epic. Big ups, dude. Thanks. The thing is, I wish that I were a content creator who had enough funds uh -huh. and was big enough that I could just buy games, try them once, drop them. I can't. So when people say, are you going to buy... Um, yeah, what about, uh, what about Game Pass? He can just play Game Pass games for free and not worry about it. And... Uh, as if he keeps playing enough of them, one of them is going to be a big hit and it's going to be his next Disney Dreamlight Valley or something. Stone 3, are you going to buy this Grand Blue Fantasy? Are you going to play Foam Stars? Are you going to play this one, that one? The answer is no. I can only afford to play a certain amount of games in a certain amount of time. I'm not the kind of guy who's going to drop a lot of money on a game and then just drop the game. Okay. You know, if it doesn't do well. Yeah, he spent $110 on Yakuza and been bitching about how it doesn't do well. I'm going to keep playing it. I love Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I'm going to keep playing it. I, I, I really like Tekken right now. I think it's superb. Oh, man. Oh, man. Today, we're going to get Ultimate Depression DSP. We're going to get, like, 2017 DSP comeback. Tons of fun and learning and getting better at it. It's going to be I wild. I continue doing that. I can't do that if i got to worry every stream that it's a dead stream. It's a dead stream. Why is it dead? There's people watching. Why does no one care enough to say, I like the content. Let's keep it going. You I'm know what? I'm that is actually a fantastic question. It's a fantastic question because uh, I've been watching this dude from, I think, 2019. Uh, I've been making videos and stuff on him on this channel from, like, 2021. And I've seen the decline in support. But at many points, whenever he decided to beg, somebody actually showed up. They might have sent him a 20. They might have sent him a 50. They might have sent him even a 100. But whenever he had one of those greasy, super panicked begging segments, people used to show up. And he got very comfortable to that. He got very used to that. So anytime he needed, you know, the stream to pick up, he would just beg and they would show up. But from what I showed in the beginning of the stream, these last couple of streams, he's been begging his ass off and it just doesn't work. It just didn't happen. So if I was him, I would definitely be feeling like this. I would definitely be super upset and I would definitely be very nervous because there is a good reason. Awesome. Because that's always happened. So what changed this week with these two games? I'd like feedback. Yeah, he if used to. to that that is true. He used to post a beg tweet and get like a hundred dollars, even though he admitted, uh, not he admitted, but he kind of knew that it was humiliating to to beg on Twitter. It was worth it at least because he used to get the money. But now it's like nothing works. Like what do we even do? Uh, now I think he is planning. Oh, and he's gonna start sometime soon. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up quick. 
he is planning on making reaction videos on his throwback channel. So he's going to go on that channel and react to his own gameplay. So he's completely ran out of any kind of ideas. Everything is too hard to do. Everything takes too much effort. He's already putting in too much effort, so he can't possibly put in more. And he's just in a, in a cycle of failure and misery and laziness, which I guess you can say it is pretty poetic for him, for him to get stuck in that cycle. Uh, so fuck him. Can uh, eat my ass. Then we get some AI timestamps, and um, that's about it. How is he? How did he frame the begging? That's what I want to see. How is the begging frame? Despite oh yeah, here it is on two times. Despite the entertaining content, Phil expressed disappointment with the slow support, receiving minimal tips, super chats, and no memberships. Then we got an another one of those. Despite the engaging gameplay, Phil highlighted the usual trend of slow support persisting into the second stream, impacting the overall look of the day. Well, I mean, you can only polish a turd so much. Uh, this is still a turd. It's still a begging segment. It's still a guilt trip. You can phrase it any way you want. And if you want to phrase it in a really fancy way, go for it. I think my favorite one is when Peace of Peace called begging uh, an elevated plea for support. I love that term. It, it sounds so business degree. Good morning, everyone. Phil here and... Welcome. All right, time for the Swaycast, everybody. Strap in. Welcome to my final consecutive streaming day of the week and the final day of the month. Today is Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. I hope I find you all well this morning. I will start off with a statement. Oh, we're going to beg. <laughs> or we're going to apologize? Basically, uh, you know, I've been stressed out lately. You yeah. Know, I know I have been. For many different reasons, some of which are public, some are not. All right. There's been stuff going on in my life. Both. Oh, this is gonna be a fake apology, you know, isn't it? I've made you a blanket it. apology as for well his fans, going so he can life, then yeah. transition to asking him for money. Me out recently, you know, everything combined at once. It's, it's like we've been talking about recently. Uh, <laughs> when it rains, it pours. It's not just oh, here's a few things that happen over time, so they're easy to handle. No, instead it just has to be everything, all at once, right thrown in your face, and somehow you're supposed to juggle all of it and deal with all of it all at the same time, right? And honestly, you know, one of the reasons why this month I decided against going forward with the documentary about myself, that, that's one of the major reasons, is already I've got so much going on, so much on my plate, that I didn't see how realistically I was going to be able to handle all of that stuff plus take on all of the added burden of trying to properly do this documentary which let's be honest had to have been done properly because if it wasn't that was not just going to only you know affect me but you the viewers as well <clears throat> i realize oh this is already miserable man this is terrible right, right off the bat and basically we're in a situation where uh, now we're going to pretend we care about the viewers, we're going to apologize, we're going to say how miserable he's been to get some more sympathy. We've seen all this before, community. but right. it's interesting because so, it's, uh, it's I new. That. You know, and I'm learning, and I'm a human who gets really stressed out sometimes, and so I just want to start off today apologizing there we go. for any stress that I may have relayed on to you in the last week. That's on me for being nervous, for being... Like I said, at my wit's end for various different reasons. <clears throat> and again, it's not all stuff that we've talked about. Evening, everyone. There's other so, stuff going on as well. Yeah, real quick. This most likely has something to do with this comment. Um, this one that I just uh, read a couple of minutes ago. Brutally honest, Phil, etc., etc. Um, In life, for me anyway, the thing that ultimately makes me feel the worst is when something is going wrong and I have absolutely nothing I can do about it, right? There's one thing if stuff's, you know, happening around you, like, all right, let's take action, right? Let's fix this, let's fix this, let's do this, let's do this, let's adjust on the fly and fix things and make them better. But sometimes in life, and especially as you get older, you will realize this more and more, as is my experience, um... There are things that are inevitable. There are things that are d destined to happen that you can't stop, all right? And when they happen, 
it sucks. And it's one thing if it's one thing happening, but when you have a series what is he of talking about that continue the destined the to happen? For me, it's been like now about a year, year and a half. Uh, whoa! And the stress levels. This just, was this was a stress fueled snort. Keep at becoming exponentially more and more and more and more. It wears you down, you know. And for a while there, I feel like I was actually doing real good. Like, I feel like over the, the second half of 2023 and into this new year, like, there was good positivity and momentum. Um, <clears throat> admittedly, early on last year, there was a lot of stress because of bad decisions that I made. But I feel like I adjusted that. And then when, with the release of something like Street Fighter VI, which reinvigorated my efforts to want to play games competitively and getting a new crowd of viewership back and continuing on with all these different projects and things I've been doing along the year and adjusting. I felt like everything was going smoothly for as much. <clears throat> hey, Phil, you know what? Why don't you keep the same energy as uh, when you were telling people to eat shit out of your ass? Because you seemed like you were very confident back then. Can we go to that instead of this, this pathetic, uh, shrill shell of a man? As could be done. You know what I'm saying? Um... And then, you know, then things all happen at once. And everything explodes and everything hits the fan. And it's like, now what do you do to fix it? Oh, you just can't. There's nothing you can do. Oh, oh that's bad. great, you know? Because, you know, it's only my life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not like this is a video game. It's like, oh, shit. You know, I'm playing and things are really going bad this run. That's okay. I'll just respawn with my next life. Oops. Oh, this is real life. There's no respawning of a next life. Right? You just have to deal with what's going on and somehow make do. Um, and that's kind of what's been going on with me recently. Because some people have even said, they've come by streams and said, you seem like you're stressed again. It seems like you're, you're, you're at wit's end and you're, you know. Yeah, by this they mean you seem toxic you're as fuck. You're, you're snapping yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's literally and it. And the truth is that I'm in a unique situation where I'm put under a microscope constantly. And unfortunately, I'm not allowed to say and do things that other people can do, right? Like what? Like, any other person can make an observation about something and be like, hey, that's kind of like me. I see myself in that. That's pretty crazy. It's like fourth wall breaking. I'm playing a game and I see a connection to my real life. And most people can say that and that's fine. But if I say that, you have 20,000 jackasses oh, again spin it into something like oh he's egotistical he's this he's that what are he you is. talking about it's a simple factual observation that any human should be able to make but i'm not allowed to make it because i'm the devil right i'm the villain <laughs> so i can't just Dude. do normal stuff i'm not allowed right you know just like everyone else who says dumb stuff like oh the reason why you're so stressed out is because you put all of the effort of your business on the fact that it's a crowdfunded business, right? Yeah. And if you diversified out and you did more than just crowdfunding and you found sponsorships and things like that, that, you know, you'd be fine, which is completely false. You know, really? I can't get sponsorships because of these people Ayo. who ruin everything. Ayo, what, what happened to declining all the sponsorships? This dude was talking about fucking getting like dozens of messages from companies wanting to work with them. And he said no, because he has integrity. What happened? There's a reason why I'm not in the Twitch partner program and it's not me, okay? Uh. There's a reason why Teespring dropped me from their merch store after having me in there for over five years and setting me up themselves, knowing well who I was. Cause uh, you weren't selling anything. Okay. I don't have the, or get the opportunities everybody else does because I'm in a unique situation. I think Mike Klum actually said it best, all right? What? He literally said to me, in my early research about you, to figure out who you were and everything, as I started to look deeper into things, I realized that you have likely one of the biggest troll communities on the internet. <laughs> Did it take Mike Klum to point this out? You can literally see this at a at a single glance, dude. Bigger than other people who he's dealt with. Much bigger. Okay. Which is hilarious because you see some of the other stories and things. It's like, oh, woe is me, woe is me. Yeah, but you don't even have half the fucking hardships. Oh, so you're a bigger victim than them. Congratulations, Phil. Congratulations. You know? <laughs> of other he wins. <clears throat> woe is you. He, he wins right? the victim Olympics. 
So basically with me, all right? The king of suffering so is back. There's really no ways to fix the problems that are happening. And what ends up happening is that all that gets pent up inside of me and it affects me in a bad way. And then I go back to my old ways and I do things that are stupid and I bother you guys with things every stream that I shouldn't bother you with. And it is what it is, right? Okay. So, there's First of all, you owe me money for this therapy session. Second of all, um, keep those discussions for your wife and not for uh, the internet. There's not much you can do about that besides recover from it and learn from it and try to regroup. How are you going to recover? Asking people for money? At the time, right? So today is going to be a chill day. All right? Today is going to be a completely chill day. Okay. <clears throat> all right? But he's only going to beg like twice. It's just going to be... Or maybe five times. Me relaxing with you guys, enjoying some laid back games. Not even not even a fighting game, which is a good thing. You know, I like Tekken a lot. Right now, I think it's a superb fighting game and I'm having a ton of fun learning the game and getting better at it. But it's a stressful game. When you're playing a fighting game like that, that's like adrenaline pumping, nerves on edge, and you yeah, need to yeah, nerves yeah. on edge. That's the thing. You need to be able to react and do things and, and you know, constantly a million things going through your head at once, right? Um, so, and by the way, I don't know why Neckbeard Reviews is typing paragraphs in the chat. There's no way uh -oh. I can read them. I'm doing Why not? I can read them. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm just re being real with you, 100%. You have to make a sacrifice to make healthy choices for you and your family and your loyal viewers. And before that, oh yeah, he is in fact writing a bunch of fucking uh, paragraphs. Hi, DSP. I want to give you constructive criticism. Honestly, I myself have been in a time of my life where I was very much down and looked out and I took it out on a lot of innocent people. Sounds like you want to try and make this stream all about you and be the king of suffering. Hmm. So I know when you say you're letting everything in your life negative control you, blah, 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 making the worst. Uh, yeah. When, when support isn't happening, it's a result of your actions towards your loyal supporters. Uh, that guy seems like a fucking troll. We should send him to a gulag. You gotta love it. People are, like, just typing their heart out in the chat. Like, you see I'm talking to the camera, right? And this is the reason why you are here, Phil. And this is the reason why I will never have a single ounce of sympathy towards you, no matter what happens in your life. You're a rotten person, you're a piece of shit, and I will enjoy spitting on you until the day you are gone, or I am bored of spitting on you. Get fucked. Like, I can't read what you're saying. Anyway. So, <clears throat> I apologize for any stress that I caused this week. Please know that it wasn't intentional. It was because of all the other things going on in my life at this point. Um, and it sucks that, you know, things are just happening all at once. It's a perfect storm of, of crap. And I got to deal with it and I got to get through it. And the thing is, you know, I know I'll get through it. You know, I have been through this kind of stuff before. I've gotten through it before. Okay. It's not the end of the world. How, how did he get through it? I wonder how he got through it. Did it have something to do with just sitting there and making a little piece of shit bitch out of himself and asking people for money by humiliating himself? Is that how he got through it last time? Because all this stuff that he has to get through has something to do with money at some point. At the same time, it's just incredibly stressful that this is the millionth time that stuff happens that's not in my control. And again, I'm powerless mm -hmm. to do anything about it. And that's what drives me nuts the most. You know, because mm -hmm. as much as I would like to say, I know what I'll do. I'll adjust all my content and I'll try to make it better. How? Feedback. By like what? He's going to do more reaction stuff now? He's going to change the thumbnails? Yeah, we're not really addressing the core issue, which is him and his behavior. And I would rather that issue not be addressed because that's more entertaining for me. Which I've done. And I know he can't address it because he just can't help himself. He literally, this is a 41-year-old man, soon to be 42, talking about mailing people spoons so they can eat shit out of his ass, like two days ago. New thumbnails. New do, do you think he's going to get better at any point? No, it's only going to get worse. The more you enable him, the more he's going to get worse. New titling system for my videos, right? Bringing back content that's been lost from the internet for years and making a whole channel to make that presentable to you in a modern format, which you've wanted. Literally, new thumbnails and new titles. This is how he's adjusting his content? Oh, man, we're so over. This this show is canceled, man. Right? Keeping shows alive that very well could have died because of trolling activity, but still able to keep them alive because of the help of you guys and on-the-fly thinking. 
I'm doing my best to to juggle all of this and maintain sanity. You know, it's a lot on my plate because it's not just that. If that was just what I was doing in my life right now, if that was it, that would be enough. But the fact that outside of this office, I've got a private life and I've got other things going on that you guys are not aware of at all. Uh, multiple other things happening that I'm juggling there and it's incredibly stressful, you know? Um, and it sucks. So it is what it is. This was me opening you know, my beer. I gotta get through oh, it. Oh, speaking of victims, I'm a victim today. Let me complain about how shitty my life is. I had no water all day. Yes, granted, I wasn't at uh, at home most of the day because I was at work. But then I came back home. I wanted to take a shower. I had no water. No water. Look at me. How am I going to get past this hurdle in my life? And I want to, uh, again, let you know that if I'm on a stream and I seem overly stressed, right? It's probably a combination of a million factors. It's not just what's going on in that moment, right? But you have to understand that sadly there's just people out there that are out to get me for no good reason like it's not because i've hurt them it's not because i've done heinous acts on the internet it's because the internet has attached their their themselves to my ass as a giant pulsating infected hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid. that's right and it's about to burst and they just stay there and it won't go away because they found that they get pleasure or money or popularity by literally hurting me <laughs> And so I have to deal. Would, would you guys say that what I'm doing right now is hurting him? Because you can, I think you can make a pretty good uh, argument both ways. You can say that I'm trying to keep him relevant because I got probably like two, three times more people watching him than him. I'm not personally messing with his finances. I don't think anybody of his, of his fans have checked out my stuff and have said, you know what? I'm actually going to stop supporting Phil because this guy said that Phil is a, is a gouty pig roach and he wants to have sex with his wife. I want to have sex with your wife. So, yeah. With that on a daily basis, imagine that. That there's a group of people out there that are all anonymous, but they can get away with just twisting the knife further okay. into you. So, are Every you implying that if, if we dox all the detractors, that, that would be fine? The day that they do it, they get something pleasurable out of it and you get hurt. Absolutely. And you can't stop them. Honestly, call me a sociopath, but when he's miserable... I'm, I'm fucking chilling. Honestly, that's prime time for me. It's so much fun. There's nothing you can do about that, right? It's pretty bad. Um, and there's not much I can do about it, all right? So it's life, and I want to get better, meaning I want to not be putting that towards you guys, you know, if I can avoid it. So it's this simple. Uh, you're not going to hear it. I, you know, from me, I'm just gonna move forward positively. I'm just going to relax with you guys. This is, dude. We're gonna this is the most nothing segment that's ever happened. When when somebody clips this, go rewatch this and see how much of a nothing segment is. Enjoy games. We're it's just basically my life is hard, but I'm not gonna complain about it. But I am complaining about it right now. But I'm I'm done complaining. But I might complain about it a little bit later. And also, you guys know I need money, so I'm not going to remind you that I need money. Unless this stream is, like, really, really slow. We're going to have fun discussions. I'm not going to be bringing up the stressful bullshit. There's no point. Because, again, you know, as much as I've tried to affect the situation in some way, none of my efforts have helped. Like, nothing. Literally nothing that I've said, that I've done, that i felt has helped. So why am I going to sit here... And why am I going to be so pent up, angry about it, right? When it's time to basically just let it go and be more reserved and whatever happens, happens. Right? Yeah, I but the better here is the problem in this, in this thing. Because it sounds a very good idea, right, on paper. Phil is not going to be angry anymore. Phil is not going to be toxic. But the problem is, this is much stronger than him. It's much stronger than these fucking words. He's going to be calling people turd suckers and mouth droolers within 24 hours. Actually, no, tomorrow he's off. So I give him until like Friday night to call somebody a, a mouth drooler. The way to think about it is sometimes in it's life not happening. you cannot control and you just got to let go okay. rather than just be so angry about a situation or so try to be control freak about it. Sometimes you just can't fix it. So let it ride and see what happens in life generally oh this reminds me this reminds me of when he was 
uh, talking about somebody asked him, "Hey Phil, what would you say to to past Phil to warn him about life?" And instead of saying anything that has any kind of substance to it, he just resorted to like uh bullshit ass platitudes from like a Disney Channel movie or something. He basically said, "Hey Phil, just so you know, keep, you know, keep grinding and keep powering through, man, and you're going to be stronger than the hate." It's just basic like a bunch of nothing. Like, bro, you got the ability to give your past self advice so he can have a better life. And you're essentially telling him live, love, laugh? That's what you're going to tell him? Yeah. In my life, when stuff like this has happened, I might as well got a fortune cookie. At least I will get to eat the cookie. And I just let it go. Well, not really just let it go, but over time, things just get better. So... Uh -huh. So we just ignore the problem, effectively. I'm just gonna and hope it's gonna get better. Of course, we resort to hoping and coping again. It's the the tried and tested mission statement of DSP Gaming. I'm gonna hope that things get better. If I if they don't, I'll ask people to make things get better. I'm gonna let it go and hopefully things get better, rather than sit here and 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 harp on shit all day every day. There's no point. All right. So. I've said my piece. I apologize for being so stressed this last week. You know, to anyone who felt like I wasn't myself or you're offended or something, well, you know, I'm a human and I make mistakes. Uh-huh. And uh, I'll continue to make those mistakes, you know. What? All I can do is finally acknowledge. When <laughs> no way. Not this not even a non-apology. This dude straight up saying, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep going, okay? You got a problem? I'm a human, bitch. What are you gonna do about it? And I make said mistakes. Thing, well, you know, I'm a human and I make mistakes. And uh, I'll continue to make those mistakes, you know? Those oh, very- those mistakes as well. Those same mistakes. Like, how long is it gonna take you to learn? You're 42, bruv. What I can do is finally acknowledge when I make said mistakes. Uh-huh. But now we're gonna acknowledge when we made them. There we go. That's progress right here on the Level 1 Podcast. This is what it's all about. We're unraveling the human condition and raveling it back in. And, uh, and say I'll move on from focusing on that stuff every single day, right? You guys don't want to come to a stream every day to hear about my income. You guys don't want to come to the stream every day to hear about this problem or that problem with memberships and shit. You don't care. You're just here to have fun with me, right? And to have a good time with whatever gameplay that I'm doing. And I'm grateful to those who come by every day regardless, <laughs> right? To hang out with me and have a good time. Like, that's what you're here for, right? As I said many times over the years, you are here to unplug what are his from chat your own froze? lives and hopefully have some good time with me and forget about your own stresses, correct? That's really what you're here for, ultimately, right? But the thing is, you know this. You've known this for a long time, and yet you put your own needs in front of those of your customers, and that's why we're here right now. When you unplug, you don't want to then go to someone's stream and hear about more stressful bullshit, <laughs> right? So, I mean, initially, with this whole thing, I think, of course, as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. Initially... What I probably should have done, which I wouldn't have known this because the first time I've gone through something like this, is just mention the problem, say it exists. If it, if it, hap if it further affects things, I'll let you know, and here's how we fix it. Then we fix it. So, for example, I fixed the problem when okay. it came to the React channel. Uh, no, nah, you actually didn't. You just made people pay more. Um, the uh, Tony T says in chat, I'm positive that a dent encouraged him to say all of this. Well, as I was looking at his comments earlier on his previous videos, there is Dents that actually complained about it. And I think that's partially at fault. And the other one is that he realized that they just stopped giving him money. And he might have actually woken up and been like, hey, you know what? If I keep abusing those retards, maybe I can't just milk them for money anymore. And then we do the polar opposite. We jump on stream. The very first thing we say is an extensive apology segment that is kind of an apology segment, but not really. It's more of a, like, I'm sorry. But, you know, it's, it's going to happen again because I just can't help it, dude. I'm a human. I'm going to keep making those mistakes. Right? The problem has been resolved and we just did a react show on Sunday that went down without a hitch. Correct? No, the problem hasn't been resolved. Uh, you just had a, a patch fix, a quick bootleg uh, solution to it. Problem still exists. So rather than focusing on it and talking about it endlessly, 
That's it. All right. I mentioned it. We fixed it. That's it. Move on. Right? And that's really what, you know, I should have done rather than just constantly talking about it. Constantly asking for more of this and that and getting everyone all riled up about bullshit. And then people coming here on the streams and getting all frustrated because why is Phil in this mood every day now? Why is Phil stressed out and this and that? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, like I said, today I'm not going to be talking about any of that stuff. Uh, I just want to hang out with you guys. Okay, I want things wow. to get back to uh, normal here. That's crazy. All right. It's almost like today he needs him to step up, so he needs to be on even better than best behavior. He needs to be on, like, the ultimate behavior. And and more relaxing times. All right, enough of you two idiots. Get the fuck out of the chat. Seriously, <laughs> two idiots. <laughs> Oh my fucking god that was the best that was the best man what not even like what has it been like 10 seconds after he said he's gonna stop being toxic when he was toxic oh my fucking god i <laughs> that, that dude killed me man yeah so like i said today i'm not gonna be talking about any of that stuff uh i just want to hang out with you guys i want things to get back to uh, normal here, all right, and and they immediately go back to normal. Immediately, you can't even believe how fast it happened. And more relaxing times. All right, enough of you two idiots. Get the fuck out of the chat. Seriously, you two <laughs> idiots just gotta sit there. <laughs> blah, 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 shut up. I just, I'm trying to tell you, I want to relax. All right, I just want to relax and have a good time. Oh, let's uh, be in the chat. Let's try to rile a fill up. No, you're not gonna do that today. You're gone. You, they actually did that. Thanks. You, you gave me my, my best five seconds of laughing all day. I appreciate you, Phil. So, um, yeah, that's it. And it's funny because normally on a podcast, right, I'd be like, okay, we have all these topics. I, I came to the podcast today. I don't have anything to talk about. What I want to do is just go through the schedule for the week. Oh. We'll open it up. To oh, so it's the depression cast. Q and A or whatever. Shit. And, the you know, the podcast cast. ends early and we jump into Baldur's Gate 3 early, I guess that's fine. Okay, well, it is what it is. And we'll go from there. Oh, I got a, a shit ton of skip juice, so let's catch up on some paparinos, dude. Color alert. Let me apologize and to you guys. It's not fault that I snapped at you guys. That was my depression. Right finger pig face, now eat it. Eat it. Now eat it. <laughs> Apology not accepted. <laughs> eat it, Phil Spoon. Yeah, you know what? Because he was saying eat it, not even to the trolls. He was saying eat it to his own fans. It's like you either... You fucking deal with it. I say something and you eat it. And now it's like, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry I hit you, babe. I'm sorry. I'm just a human. You know, I've been stressed out because I got to pay my taxes. Come on, man. Alert. Spontaneous you retirement you announcement. Thinking face. We can't wait for new releases to hit. Uh, no, there's no retirement. As you can saw, there's no retirement announcement. Right? Let's do it. The sandwich so shop owner was just stressed when he told customers to eat kitten <laughs> out of his bunny's <laughs> dude. Saying, Factual game? observation. He did nothing <laughs> where, where, wrong. Yeah, pretty much. I thought he ignored today? the drama, by the way. Congrats no. on 1K. That was the whole um, thanks. Guys. Thank you. That. And of course he ignores the drama. That's what he's going to do today. Specifically today, he's going to ignore all of the drama that he invented himself because he is uh, stressed out or something. And we were playing that game in oh, December. That Apologize to me, C-H-M-A-N, dude. No, you, you don't deserve an apology, to be honest. Like, once you're a DSP fan, especially supporting him for, like, years, you need to admit that you're fine with being used as a doormat because he uses all his fans as doormats. So you don't really deserve any apology. And uh, also, really interesting, do you think all the guys before you got banned deserved an apology? But you didn't seem to stand up for him until it happened to you. It's very interesting. But that when new releases came out, they were going to be the priority. Very interesting. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3, at this point. But when it happens to you, you need an apology. I'm in Act 2, and we're 60 hours in. It sounds like I already emailed like Dave my address again, and paid right? for the express shipping for him to send out his and Cat's spoon so I can start digging in both thumb me a cat bra. There we go. I'm a do me. Fill up Bernal. Yeah, straight up. I I'm just going to do me, dude. So I I'm going to do it. what I, mean, I want. Thank God I didn't start playing this. Alert. DSP abuser apology. I'm sorry I slapped you, baby. 
It won't happen again. No, it will happen again. This dude straight up said, I'm gonna keep making those mistakes. But I'm just human, so I guess you gotta deal with it. Eat it! Eat it! Welcome, King Puppy. Um, uh, welcome, King dude, Puppy. So, that's the thing. Like, it's funny that so many people said they, had, they were tired of Baldur's Gate. And they wanted me to move on to other stuff. So I did, and then immediately another crowd said, well, where's Baldur's Gate, right? Like, this is the, this <laughs> the, the, here's the thing. really I weird thing with me and fucking DSP fans, is you watch this dude when it talk to trash to everybody. Yeah, I really Call like him God every God name in the book on a daily God, basis. Like you choose to support him. If I did, I would Until the, the, the rocks start falling on your head, and then you realize how bad he is. Despite there being like 10 to 15 years of video, like tens of thousands of hours of him being a total irredeemable piece of shit, you still decide to support him? I got no sympathy, really. One of the reasons why I've had the longevity that I've had for over 15 years is that I position myself in a way that I always have content to do because I don't just do one style of content, right? And I'm happy about that. I don't want to just play the same game over and over. So please understand, this was actually a good week for me personally to finally unplug from Baldur's Gate for a week and say, let's do something different and refreshing. And I feel like I did the right thing because with, especially with Tekken, that's a franchise that I've always liked, but I've never been good at since like the 90s, right? So you're talking like 25 years that I haven't been good at Tekken. And now actually approaching Tekken from a different perspective, the same way that I approached Street Fighter VI. Let's learn the new mechanics. Let's learn the nuance. Oh, no, let's, let's not. Let's skip through this because this is the, the great stuff. Like, no matter how many, you know, how much effort I put into it and I try to push it forward <clears throat> in a positive way, you know, I can't uh, make it big ups, more popular. Big up light for bright for the right? sub, dude. But I'm also not going to give up on it. I love that game and I'm not going to now not play it. Oh, very, so, very interesting, by the way. So yesterday he was crying about, I'm going to let him play in the background because it doesn't resonate with my mainstream audience. Uh, so he was crying about how uh, he couldn't make it to Yakuza, the the Animal Crossing Island minigame. But his wife did it. So why can't he just take the Xbox and bring it to his office and him and his wife get to play the game? And he was saying shit like, like, I waited five years to play a co-op game with my wife. Like, why? Nothing is stopping you to play a co-op game in your spare time like the loving couple you guys are. The whole thing. I mean, it was really boneheaded. It just that. none of this shit makes any sense. At the the yeah, level so one of criticism, the level one of scrutiny, is just doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> and also, yes, her account yeah, is also on his console. So all that shit is just an excuse to get people to support the Yakuza playthrough. The other, and obviously after all the work I just put in, I don't want these prisoners to die. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin... Yeah, I do I do have blocked words in chat. Because I, I don't want to have anybody moderating what people say. So I ran the bot with a list of words. So I don't have to care about it. I'm sure you guys are going to help me. Just like you've the entire playthrough. To try to figure out the right decision. And move on from there. Okay? So that's the first thing we're doing today. Is continuing on with Baldur's Gate 3. I'm hoping that the same audience that's been there to engage and support. Will be here today. And we can bring back that momentum. And moving forward... Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be a daytime stream again. Yes, for the foreseeable future. You guys yelled and screamed all week for it. So you guys were screaming for it. So you now, we're going to continue you know what time it is. And today, I think he's going to do very well. I think the day stream is going to be at least 120. And the night stream is going to be at least a 60. Baldur's Gate 3 is getting downgraded. A 60? A 60. Rebirth comes out. The thing is, I know that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth also is going to have a very engaged audience. It happened with the with the remake. People like to swap them around. That's okay. So, Baldur's Gate 3, continuing today, coming back into the main schedule. Uh, tonight's late stream will be Like a Dragon Infinite Well, which at this point, I think the game has just got superb. Now we're in Hawaii. Oh, yeah, man. That's that's the thing, King Be Cruel. I don't mean to, like, ask you for an explanation or whatever. I'm just telling you my perspective of this. Uh, the culture That's why I'm the telling you what I think. Because there's many people who want to speak on behalf of the community. I'm just speaking on my behalf and what I think about supporting DSP until it's inconvenient for you. Did a mission and I'm definitely not endorsing people to harass you or so, shit on you or whatever. I get the That's just genuinely how I'm I feel. I'm really, really, really going to enjoy this game. Big ups uh, back to VHS for the membership, dude. Playing that on the late stream, okay? I'm off from streaming tomorrow. I'm going to do my best to try to not be stressed out. 
and just forget about all this crap going on around me and just try to have some fun with my wife. I know she's been waiting all week to play more Tekken. She's been playing like a dragon all week. But she says, yeah, when, you know, on the day off is when she wants to play more Tekken. When I'm and big ups, fantastic Mr. Mr. Phil for the 20, 20 gifts, dude. Victor and do I have some new ones to give away this month? I don't so think I do. We're probably going to do that tomorrow. I think I need to wait um, until tomorrow. When I come back on Friday, it's more Baldur's Gate 3 on the daytime stream. And then Friday night is Friday night fights. Where I'm yeah, I'm definitely going to skip this. Then on Saturday, it's going to be more Tekken 8, but we're going to work facilities and everything. And what I'll do is the night before, I'll probably watch some combo videos, study some, some videos about their gameplay, punishments and stuff. And then we'll go into training mode. And for like a half an hour, I'll practice combos and strategy. Then we'll go online, not to the ranked matches, but to the quick matches, and try to play some quick matches and learn that character to a capacity where I feel comfortable with them that then I can do ranked. Because remember, Tekken's different than Street Fighter. When you play Street Fighter, even if you start ranked, you start with qualification matches that place you into a certain level. They don't do that in Tekken. You just get thrown right to the wolves in Tekken, and your overall ranking is determined by... Oh, yeah, you know, I, I also have... Uh, I'm also pretty annoyed with people making a bunch of comparisons to cults and how when when somebody stops being a DSP fan, they've basically escaped the cult. And, I mean, come on. Cults actually ruin families. It actually destroys people's lives. And this dude is just a rat fucking piece of shit on the internet who plays video games and is really bad at manipulating people. So, not really the same. It's not really the same. do too many private Patreon videos this month, then maybe what I will do is do a late night stream of uh, a retro react over on DSP Throwback, and we could do a poll to determine what you'd like me to react to. Do you want me to continue on with the Red Dead 1 playthrough? Do you maybe want me to go back and play a different playthrough? For example, my original Bloodborne run, or maybe my original Dark Souls run, or maybe Heavy Rain. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like, those four games what? are all great games to do a retro react to. Oh, no. No. And, uh, He's going to watch himself playing fucking Dark Souls from, like, 2010? And... and <laughs> Oh my god. I think that that this is going to be the worst. What you would want to see. The thing is though, I'm going to be in honest, heavy guys, rain. I think this week probably I have to take Sunday night off to do the private react videos. Um I don't really see another way around it. Cuz I was thinking about it that yeah, sadly, uh I think I know for it's a gonna fact it's going to be I think mega Slayer miserable to have at least two videos, although he basically says one long video so like an hour. If it's just an hour, I could probably fit that in between streams somewhere, or one night just stay after my late stream and do that video. But does he uh, does he still pay the the whole fifty dollars for one hour's worth of video? Because that's that seems like a very long video. DSP should charge him uh, twice. You should be paying two hundred dollars or a hundred dollars. Yeah. Then I need. If you're to sorry about something, you don't go on an extended rant about the factors, excuses that caused your behavior. You just say sorry. Yes, exactly. That's that's kind of the whole idea. And as, of course, you don't say that you're going to keep doing the thing. Because uh, like John Rambo said, apologizing isn't just words. It means I will not do this thing again. And he just straight up says, yeah, you know what? I make mistakes. I'm a human. I'm going to keep making those same mistakes. Sound good. Take the time away to do it. And the thing is, there there's potentially two more people who may or may not want those videos, I'll know by Friday, basically. on Because fr what happens is the first of the month is when all Patreon pledges go through. So by Friday, I should know, hey, this many went through, and that'll help me determine what's going to be on sat uh, Sunday, okay? So I'll let you know, but best case scenario, if I don't have that many to do, we'll probably do a nice, interesting throwback stream on DSP Throwback on Sunday night and kind of hang, hang out and, and watch old gameplay together. It'll be good, right? Um, uh, but probably not. If not, then we're just not streaming Sunday night. Okay. So then Monday it'll be more Baldur's Gate three and more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and then Tuesday will be more Tekken eight, and likely on Tuesday whatever character I tried out on Saturday, I will now probably take them into ranked and maybe also play with oh, some right. June or heavy some rain. N word drop and it's time. Oh yeah. Rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, laughing. I remember. Okay, th that. That segment, that's probably going to get deleted from the remastered playthrough, if that even happens. And I still think it's a terrible idea. That whole throwback channel is terrible. They should just put one playthrough at like it in one single video, even if it's 12 hours long. Just one playthrough. It's going to get his watch time up. 
and it's gonna work much better than all these episodic playthroughs other characters so kind of balance all that and do some game multiplayer gameplay tuesday and the tuesday night will be more pal world all right so we are going to do a pal world stream oh, and then probably pal be world. more baldur's gate and like a dragon and that's the week okay now you might have noticed i didn't mention foam stars yeah because here's the thing when i'm juggling so much already i don't think i should be adding other games you know what I mean? Like, I think we should be focusing on the things we're focusing on right now. Stop getting distracted by so much other stuff in the environment. That people say, hey, just play this once, just play this once, do this once, do this once. I think that's too distracting, okay? So, yeah, I think uh, let's let's see how the week goes. You know, if there's massive demand for me to try this Foam Stars game, maybe I will. But I'm not really hearing that much demand. I mean, it's basically Splatoon, but not Splatoon because it's not on a Nintendo console. So they changed it around a little bit, right? Okay, sure. Um, sounds sounds good to me, brother. So, that's the week. I hope that sounds good to you guys. Also, keep in mind, the Super Bowl bash is coming. Oh, no. We get to talk about this again. Nicely. Allow me to explain. So, the Super Bowl bash is going to be on Saturday, February 10th, right here on DSP Gaming. It's going to be a day-long marathon, all right? And the cool thing about it is, right now... uh. We're kind of figuring out, you know, exactly what it is that you guys want to see. I mean, you know, I asked him to react to the Swaycast FRFR. Uh, you did? Wow. Well, he's probably not going to do it. I mean, the first thing he looks up, up, he's going to see himself in a thumbnail, and he's not going to like it. In various he's NFL not going to like it at all. And a silly helmet. But it would be nice if we could have a private react to, like, uh, some, some funny troll video. Of props and things. But he's not going to get it, man. That's the thing. He doesn't even get it why people are making fun of him. That's how much he's lost in the sauce. Remember when he watched the Mr. Ludicrous parody of the cup noodle video? He just didn't... He doesn't understand what parody is. He thinks that the guy pretending to be DSP in a very over-exaggerated way means like he's, he's inaccurately acting or something. It just doesn't work. And uh, there's going to be... Some booze, although I don't know what I, I you know, I got. I'm thinking about. I'm like, man, I'm really not gonna have a lot of money to spend. So I'm. Not oh gonna my god! Buy, like a bunch of liquor and stuff. So I don't know. I'll We're not. Oh, look at how pathetic we are. Now we don't even have money I for alcohol. For he gets immensely flowers on stream and actually beg this same way for him. What? I might have an aneurysm if that happened. Imagine her saying it's been slow. Doing the audit mid game begs. Did you spoon arrive yet? Yeah, so the I know the TTS the fuck the shit out of this message, but the idea is that Cat is gonna be on stream and begging with him as well. Um, but I I don't think I don't think that's gonna ever happen. She she barely can even say words, man. Let alone beg, because e begging takes takes an amount of shamelessness. You you gotta you gotta be shameless as fuck. That's that's the whole thing about it. And I don't think Cat has it. He has it because he's so delusional. He doesn't even know what shame is. What I can get if I can get some beers or whatever. I'll have to see what I can figure out, okay? Uh, oh, and he might drink beer. Dude, if he drank beer, he would be taking piss breaks every 10 minutes. Legit every 10 minutes. That's the worst thing. There's gonna be some food, and I was talking with my wife about this, and we're kind of figuring out what we want to do. And I think... She's going to make uh, two things, Cat. She's going to make, number one, some kind of like a crazy dip. So a crazy what's dip? what's going to be in it, but you know, you see these Acid? online for crazy dips that you can get. Cra what what is, a, is, is a crazy dip like an American thing, an Italian thing? I've never heard of crazy dip. We're probably going to make Hold some on. kind of a very crazy loaded dip and have like, you know, homemade seven no. liter chips or something like that, okay? So that's one thing. That we're probably no. Is literally I, I look up about? I look up crazy dip on YouTube and I get people eating food in their cars. And this guy's channel is called Food Dip. Now I'm connected. See, now I got a wireless mic. Isn't that? And he got a wireless mic. Big ups to the dude. He's upgrading that business, dude. It's homemade quesadillas, which are very different than what you're thinking. You know, you get all these ingredients, you fold the tortilla, you bake it in the oven, and then you have various things to dip it in. And she was talking this morning about, yeah, let's get some seasoned chicken. Let's get some tomatoes. Let's get some green onions. Maybe toss some bacon bits in there. Melt a certain kind of cheese. And we'll, then we'll get this and this and this to dip in. I was like, ah, that will be pretty good. And that, you know, between a crazy dip and quesadillas, that's a pretty good meal that we could do for the show. So probably we'll be doing that. Um, 
This is the most lively he's been all stream, and he's talking about food that his mama's gonna make. Someone mentioned, well, last year's Super Bowl party, you ordered food, you ordered veggie pizza and nachos with chicken, and the veggie pizza was not good, and the nachos with chicken were just all right. But I mean, how you know, it's hard to really do much with that. I was like, yeah, you're right. So this year, let's just uh, let's just make stuff at home, right? Have homemade stuff. Okay, hold on. Way, my wife's cooking is great, so I can't. We gotta. No matter. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cooking great except when you admit it gave you diarrhea and it didn't work out and you guys burned the chicken, like you said. Uh, but we have a very good opinion in his chat at DSP Gaming. I think you need a long break from this YouTube to career for mental health. Get a nine to five job once you think you're ready mentally to do this as a hustle or hobby again. Yeah, who's gonna give him fucking attention, dude? Who's gonna give him all this attention he craves? This dude is so star starving for attention. Back in 2016, he used to be playing a mobile game, and he was obsessed about writing about the video game on the forums, to the point where it was almost like a journal of his experience with the game. He got like 300 posts on the forums. And at the same time, he was posting up paragraphs on his own forum. This dude is so obsessed with people acknowledging him. He cannot physically get a 9-to-5 job. It's impossible. What we have, right? So, are you excited to play COD, SF6, BG3, and eat tacos and quesadillas for the Super Bowl party? Nah, don't don't tell me that's what's gonna happen, man. There's there's no way that's the lineup of games for the Super Bowl party. Come on, he can't even play like Madden. I know they're bad, but mad if anyone brings up the Super Bowl during his Super Bowl event, uh, most likely, most likely, I would even say absolutely. No money for alcohol. Did he finish his stash? Uh, it, it, that is very likely. So because like <laughs> he he now. gets like That's huge it. handles of alcohol and not even like a, a smaller bottle. He just gets industrial amounts of booze. What we're gonna do during the day? It seems like you guys just want something NFL related, no matter what. So if it is that I download the old Madden off of Game Pass and we simulate the Super Bowl of the Chiefs versus the 49ers, what? I'm okay with that. Wait, what? I don't <laughs> to play the game. Number one, I don't know how to play it. <laughs> We're not even gonna play Madden. We're gonna simulate it. We're gonna simulate Madden. Like it's the fucking Royal Rumble or something. This dude is, is so bad. He's just so bad. And number two, on the Super Bowl event, I can't even learn how to play it. Well, um, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. At this point, just give up. Just give up. If I play it, I'm probably just going to play horribly and lose, in which case it's not really a sim. It's just me getting my ass handed to me, so what was the point? But maybe we could simulate the match in the game and see what happens. We oh, that's going to be so miserable. Um, I could commentate over it. I think it would be pretty exciting to to watch a simulated game and me commentate over it. You know, I, I haven't watched American football in ages. So Then why are you making a Super Bowl-themed event when you admit that you neither are interested in the sport or nor you're a fan of the sport? It almost seems like you're just trying to capitalize off of uh, a sporting event that is happening in the hype surrounding it without having to do anything yourself. Oh, just to see how it goes would be pretty fun, I think. So, so we'll probably do, do that. Um, but outside of that, we got to think about what else to do, okay? Uh, so, yeah, I'm being told you could download the current rosters even on the older games. So we could do the current rosters of the teams and pit them against each other and see what happens, right? Wow, oh, epic. Uh, but outside of that... What else do you want? Maybe maybe next time you can just play the simulation and just leave the stream and let it run for like six hours. I think that's going to be super cool and authentic. And you don't actually have to do anything, dude. You can just go and leave and do something else. Do you want some multiplayer? I'm, I'm leaning towards like doing like an hour of Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. For oh my Ryan. God, it's real. Gonna He's really going to play Call of Duty. Of right now. And by the way, they're apparently updating it on February 7th. Turn on, this tune in, sucks. drop out. That's that's it, dude. Drop gout uh, big and drop gout often. You know what I mean? So there may be new content in probably it that day as well to check out. The, um, a crazy dip was when your 900 members drops to 600. That is a crazy dip. That That's a good one. That is the craziest dip. Imagine being one of these dents, and after giving this man over $100,000 in 2023, he is telling you that he can't afford food or a bottle of alcohol for an event that only he will eat and drink the mat. I want pasta to kill Phil instead of his wife. You know what? Please. Wait. Hey. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You got a point in the first part of your message. Like, how are his supporters supposed to feel that his position is going to get better at some point? 
Like, how how are they supposed to have the confidence that he's going to get back to, you know, not needing their help? Because to me, it seems like you're just locking yourself into a commitment to support this guy like he's your sugar baby. And you just get to pay him his allowance. Like, he's your actual fucking child. And he's got no intention on doing something different. He's being just straight up with you, and he's telling you, well, I'm going to do this for as long as I can. So you are here, locked into this commitment to keep paying for my entire life for as much as I decide. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know how you can have any faith in this guy and have any confidence in him. So maybe just do some multiplayer there, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys would want some Tekken or not. That's up to you. I don't. Right? And again, he says Madden is too hard to play and learn. Yeah, yeah, he just said it, man. I, I can't believe it. And I learned how to play Madden, and I don't know the first thing about football. He's just going to put a game in auto and comment on it. What a lack of creativity. Yeah, what do you expect? This is Mr. Royal Rumble. Well, at least in those games, he downloads the created characters, and that shit can take a long time sometimes. For you to download Venom and Super Mario and John Cena with a six and game. Yeah, yeah, that that's it. Call of Duty, Street Fighter, Baldur's uh, Gate three. <clears throat> except, uh, except there. with Street Fighter is okay, probably gonna see. get replaced by Tekken, no, but it's neither here no nor there. It's still something that has nothing to do with the Super Bowl. She doesn't Bowl. care about the NFL at all. She doesn't care about sports in any way, shape, or form. She's not gonna want to watch the Madden game. She, you know what I mean? She's no. She wants to cook for it, but that's it. I she wants to cook. It, you know? <laughs> just like, is she gonna come play Power? Yeah. No, Cat, she doesn't have any interest in Power. Cat has no interest in hanging out or doing recreational activities. All she just, all she wants to do is fulfill her purpose in cooking and being his mom. Power world, as I said, Cat is very selective with the games that she likes to play. If she wants to come on stream, it has to be for a reason. She wants to be here. She wanted to be here for a couple Q&A sessions, then she got bored of that because there wasn't many, After you know. Cat's home cooking, their bowl isn't gonna be so super dude. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be super excited to eat it until you find out what's in the crazy dip. And then it, you're, you're gonna realize why they call it a crazy dip. No questions left. <laughs> she wants to come do co-op gameplay, but it has to be something she's interested in. Right now, she's doing the Dodokan Island stuff <clears throat> in, like, a I mean, okay, Phil. It's not like Kat is the most pretentious of gamers since she gets to play and like all the AAA video games. So it's not really, she's not really hard to please, sitting, seeing how she's been playing Skyrim for the last like 10 years. Dragon, trying to learn it all so that when we eventually do the co-op together, she can basically guide me to build our island together and do a really good job on it. So, we're, you know, we're getting to that, but yeah, she doesn't really, uh care about any of that stuff nor does she have any desire to be on it if she does i'm sure she'll tell me but you know haven't heard that from her okay okay um so that's coming up let's continue to brainstorm i'm glad that i'm now formulating ideas for the food definitely the food. Kind of an nfl simulated game in there probably with the current rosters of those teams and uh and you know we're getting closer to it when we get when we get to it don't figure all this out exactly you know another week to figure out exactly what we'll be playing during that event okay Cool. All right. So as I told you guys, um, oh, I love him with, when he that. says food like really that. And a... that's it. Wait, that's it. And we're still doing Q and A fifteen minutes later. So it's not it. Anything else to talk about today? There's no real game news. And it's today, not it. Today a state of play by Sony. Of all the moments that made me hate him and realize he would never change, one that sticks out most was when he told everyone that he deserves a date night out once a week while crying poor, and banned anyone against it. That is an amazing video. <laughs> dude, this shit is crazy. This, this thing with his uh, weekly meals is crazy. Because this dude, on a, as you know, he takes the Thursday as his day off. So Wednesday night stream, he's going to be crying about being poor. Like he's, he's about to like actually go homeless. And then he's going to have a nice Thursday. And then come back on Friday and tell us that he went to a fancy ass gourmet restaurant and had like delicious sushi with his wife. And then they came back home and they door dashed something else for dinner. And it's like, bruh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's not the kind of stuff you should be saying. Probably just keep it to yourself. Oh, my God. plays at 2 p.m. So I'm sure as we're playing Baldur's Gate, you're going to have people who are going to be coming in here and are going to be like, hey, did you hear about this? No, we're playing Baldur's Gate. I didn't hear about any of that, right? But I'm sure there's going to be... Some stuff going on. Right, right. And, uh, and hopefully, you know, we'll get new news in regards to all the new Sony games, which would be great. And I'm sure we'll talk about that once that. Oh, yeah, it's the state of play today. Now, there's really nothing to discuss this morning, okay?
which um, I, I don't even know. I don't expect anything out of those events anymore. All right. So, if any contributions come in today, I'll shout them out. As you guys know, um, my goal for every stream is to hit the Tier 1 Tips goal. If we can hit that today, that would be very helpful. So, please consider contributing today. And anything helps, by the way, any contribution is greatly appreciated, whether it be a membership or a super chat or a tip. Thanks in advance to anyone. And it would be great if by the end of this stream we could hit that Tier 1 goal of 50 bucks. Okay? All right. So... <clears throat> What would you guys like to talk about today? I'm going to open it up to Q&A earlier. Like I said, I just wanted this to be a relaxing uh, stream. No stress. Just kind of hanging no out, stress. talking, and then getting into Baldur's Gate and enjoying the game together like we have done for a month. <laughs> I, I, I'm tired of this. this. This dude is actually wild, man. Because now he's basically making it seem like all his other streams are stressful as fuck. Like you show up here and it, it, it it's a difficult time for everybody. We're trying to land a plane. Imagine DSP surrounded by a bunch of baddies. Oh man, I'm trying to find a, a clip that relates to that, but I don't know how to call it. It's this dude. If anyone knows this dude, but the extended clip, like this one. This, uh, this uh, little dude in a van. And he's acting like, oh, yeah, if she shows up, I'm going to fuck the shit out of her. And then a, a bad bitch shows up and he just runs away. It's like the funniest shit. Nonsensical stress stuff. I just want to, you know, chill with you guys today. So what's on your mind? What does everyone like to talk about? Oh, is it morning? baby alien? All right, let what me look What would you up. like to discuss? Anything interesting? Did I miss some news? Right? What would you like to discuss today? Does Cat make any bean dishes? Uh, chili. She makes homemade chili with beans that's really, really good. Hell yeah. Will there be I'm rocking with chili. With cat on stream? I literally just said we are going to be doing the Dodokan Island in Like a Dragon once I get to that point in the game. Yeah, I'm here it is. Here it is. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to derail from DSP. So this is apparently a 23-year-old virgin. I can't guess why. And uh, this is what happens. And she actually made a video. Did you see the video that she made? Hi, Alien. So, so this is hold on, hold on. I need to get this whole thing. What would you do if she was here right now? What would she do if she was here? Ah, oh uh, look she at him. Yeah. Oh, man, so many fruits. Wait, so many... Wait, <laughs> <you know? laughs> this is totally Dave, bro. This is totally Dave. We got it. I told you. She's the one from the video? Yeah, I told you. Ain't no way, bro. Okay. <laughs> and this dude, he runs out and he starts hyperventilating. <laughs> we are yeah, what are you going to do if she comes? Yeah, I'm going to do it like that, you know, like this. And then she's there, bro. It's over. It's over. Looking forward to do right now. As for things after that, I have no idea. We can't predict the future. We don't know what games are coming out that'll be good co-op. Don't know what we'll be interested in. You know, to there. Well, I do open lobbies to Tekken 8. Not now. No. There's no point in doing that now when I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, as I as I did with Street Fighter 6, once I have a good amount of characters that I feel I'm decent with and I can alternate between on a night like that, then we'll probably consider doing that. Now, I don't know how the lobby system is in Tekken, if it's as good as Street Fighter 6 or not. Uh, Street Fighter 6 is pretty good where you could invite and you could kick and you could basically manage it. Um, I would like to do those viewer nights, but again, that's not even in the cards right now. It, we're, first week of the game, this is the last thing on my mind. That's something to think about long term, okay? <clears throat> yeah, I probably don't want to do it. Am I doing a Valentine's Day event? No. I never do a Valentine's Day event. It's probably, I mean... Why not? When is Valentine's Day? Well, when you think about it, Valentine's Day is more relatable to you than the Super Bowl because you objectively don't and never have cared about it. But you are in a romantic relationship with the love of your life and your soulmate. So why not? It's just for the 14th. So that's like the Wednesday after oh, the Super Bowl event. What if I don't you have know? any spoons? How will I eat it? Well, I guess that's up to you. You got many choices. You can wrap it up in something so it's easier to eat. You can... I don't know, man. Why you ask me? Why do you ask me? Big Roacher's big brown eye is lactating. Spoon up. Bro, what? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm putting an end to these. No more chocolate starfish jokes. Oh, what no I would more. like to do is I would like I'm to... I'm putting my foot down. on island and do that. If That would be awesome if that could be the first night we do it. 
but I don't think I'm going to get that far in the game. Being now that the game is essentially being downgraded to a night game, I don't think that by the 14th I'll have unlocked it. If I did, that's great. If I unlock it by then, sure, that night, why don't we actually do that, right? That would be perfect for that night. On Valentine's Day night, Kat and I do a co-op stream, our first ever of the Dokkan Island. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we can already feel the, the dollar signs. That would be pretty neat, I think. But, uh, you know, outside of that, I don't know. No, we're not going to be doing any kind of specific things on that day. So. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Can we say something? <sighs> yes, you have stars will return later this year, as I said. Yeah, I, I forgot this was supposed to be a chill stream. Going to return later on in the year. Uh, no, I cannot. I've already explained I can't get sponsorships. There's a reason why. Yes, you can. Idiot yes, you can. You just say no. Because the dude, like... The dude can just take the sponsorship and do, like, a random stream any given day of it, and he's still going to get paid. He can't get canceled out of that. Trolls, ruin it for me. This is, this is actually just a false narrative. This is just actually false. Every time I've tried, even the ones that you think should be guaranteed, like, when I was on Twitch, as part of... Like, bro, literally, like, like you're saying in chat, literally anybody on Earth can get a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship. That's why, literally, I got one. Literally. Partner program, and they had the built-in spot. They don't give a fuck about what you make. They don't give a fuck about who you are. I call this dude retarded like 60 times a stream, and they just offered it to me. And they wanted to do more after the fact, but it was way more commitment than I was willing to do. And I also stopped playing that game, so I wouldn't be fair. ...that everyone's supposed to have opportunity to have. I did two of them, and each time that I did them, my trolls went and harassed the company of the game I was playing to the point where... uh. Who was it? Who does Assassin's Creed? Now I'm forgetting. Is it EA? No. Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Ubisoft literally complained to Twitch and said, this doesn't make sense. Why do you have a system where if someone plays one of our games, someone can come and just destroy our social media for like a week. We don't want that. So they turned off my sponsorship opportunity. So I couldn't do any more. And I'm not I buying this. Directly about it, they literally lied to me and said it was a glitch. <laughs> Everyone else on Twitch could do the sponsorships. Not me. But it's a glitch. They literally didn't have the balls to tell me what was really going on because they were cowards. Just another reason why I would not go back to that company. Um, but yeah, like I just I don't have the opportunity. I, I literally could not get sponsorships, even if I wanted to. Even if someone said, I like your content, they wouldn't want to take on the liability of them being harassed by... Really? Companies. Have you tried? Have you actually tried? Because what he does is he basically cucks himself out of it. It's like, imagine this. You go on a first date with a girl, and the first thing you say is all the bad things about you. And it's like, hey, hey what's up? Yeah, you, you look great today. Well, I don't wash my ass. Uh, I'm bankrupt. I snort constantly. And I have a million people hating me. So uh, do you want to go out on another date, maybe? What do you think is going to be the answer? Because that's exactly what he does. He's like, oh, yeah, thanks for wanting to be my sponsor, but also... Here's all the bad things about me and why you wouldn't want to be my sponsor. Do you still want to be my sponsor? So they're not going to do it. You understand? Just like, do the thing. Like hassle. The whole point of a sponsorship is you think that there's going to be some kind of a positive outcome from your association with a content creator. Like if I were to sponsor, I don't know, this cloth company. I say every day I use this cloth. Oh, it's a cum rag. Glasses. Right? It's a cum yeah, rag. Yeah, Very nice. The the He's like down. John Cena. Tekken, and it's a great quality claw. And then by me saying that and taking a sponsorship plug for it, <laughs> right, and they pay me for that space, people would go and buy this claw. But what's the point of taking a sponsorship where you think that that would sell you claws if then for the next two weeks, trolls are constantly on your forums, on your Discord, on your social media spamming disgusting toxic things about disgusting me and everyone else you know trying to do harmful things there's no opportunity there for sponsorship it just will never happen nah 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 he could still do the one off and and i can call him out for being bullshit because i did the thing with raid shadow legends you don't even have to tell him when you're gonna do the stream you don't have to do anything as long as you do a fucking stream about it and it's like an hour long that's all you gotta do 
So this, all this shit is fucking bullshit. Is literally fucking bullshit. If he really wanted to get himself paid from some company, he would have done it. And it would have been easy as one, two, three. If he wanted to get a review copy for a certain game, he would have done it. And it would have been easy as fuck. He just doesn't want to do it. Because... I guess it takes effort to do it, and it takes away from the whole narrative that he's a one-man show that is completely crowdfunded. You understand? It'll always be shut down by these people. So there's nothing I can do about it. No sponsor is going to take that out. The whole point of a sponsorship, right, is supposed to be to get a benefit out of it. And if taking on a sponsorship with me means you're going to get harassed by a thousand trolls, no one's going to take that on, that liability, right? And there's nothing I can do about that. So I, you know, you got it. There's you, plenty you can again, do about that. You submit to stuff, right? And all you do is you say, "Listen, you move on positively with the things you can control." Like I said earlier today on this very show, in life, there's things you can and you cannot control. I can't control the hate mob that is formulated on the internet around me. All I can do is ignore them and move on positively with the things that I can control. Right? That's it. So for every person out there that makes shit up, like, oh, you know, Phil would just do this and do that. It would solve all his problems. You're completely wrong. There's nothing <laughs> I can do to solve the problems because the problems are okay. not really made. Epic, epic, epic narrative. So you that give me advice how to solve my problem, first of all, shut the fuck up. You know nothing about it. And uh, the only thing you can do is just give me money so I can solve my own problems, you fucking idiot. I don't need your advice. I just need your money. That's what I need. By me... I have to deal with the repercussions of the actions of these other people who are doing things outside the realm of my control and somehow still persevere through it. Now, up to this point, I've had to do a lot of adjustments and a lot of things, and I have done that, but that doesn't guarantee that that's going to happen forever, right? So all I can do is do my best, all right? And uh, <clears throat> let's just relax together and stop worrying so much about it, right? Stop talking about this stuff because it ain't going to happen, right? <laughs> Oh, okay. Epic. This was uh this is a great free stream. When he's trying to not be toxic, but he's just naturally it. Like you can't escape who you are. The more you try to force yourself to be someone you're not, the more you become more of who you actually are. Oh, uh, let's see here. And he's just going to become more of this. While talking about how he's changed super hard. He's changed so much, dude. He's basically a different person now. Well, hopefully this is eventually going Except, to load. Um, it yeah, okay, I received that. a $25 tip from One Minute Man. Yeah. He says... It's working. You asked what to do with the severed arm. Do you remember the Ogre Mig asked to share some meat? I don't remember that at all, but I guess you're right. Uh, you can learn about the absolute by investigating suspicious sounds in the rafters. Right, we knew about that. We knew about the suspicious sounds. Oh my god, this is the segment where we pretend to care about what minute one minute man has to say because he's sending him a tip every day. That's a great segment. First, what? Oh god. A minute, right? And he knows nothing about it, but tap, tap, uh, tap, at $25, still $25. I don't know what's going to happen. So, until we get past that, I'm not really too worried about going back and doing other things in the tower because I don't even know if I can and everyone's going to be alerted and my cover's blown everything seems to be isolated this is supposed to be a fantasy medieval oh, game how if nothing can be done to solve his problems then giving him money over any amount of time is a waste there we go he's beyond black build this is it man this is what i mentioned earlier like he's constantly telling people that he's always in the middle of some kind of problem like how how are they going to have some confidence to keep supporting him when there is no end in sight you're going to be supporting him for the next 25 years be my guest the hell would they all know? It doesn't seem to make much sense. You can sense. take a mortgage like, on the house to right? support Dark That's Side fucking Phil. multiple times in the playthrough where you attack people in one room and the entire building's aggro. Uh, right? Wesley H. So does that happen in this tower or not? If not, why not? Because it happened earlier in the game. And that's what I mean about Baldur's Gate 3. This is a game that you Wait, wait, what, what? Where did this start? Uh, why are you guys saying that One Minute Man is null? You know, the owner of Kiwi Farms? Where did that come from? Did I miss something? Yeah. Right? So does that happen in this tower or not? If not, why not? Because it happened earlier in the game. And that's what I mean about Baldur's Gate. I mean, I, I think it's Planet Jeff for very obvious reasons. In this game, and you just need to know, or luckily for me, have a viewing audience to help you understand. I, I know it's a joke. I just didn't know where it started. That's the whole thing. I don't believe it's obviously. I don't believe it's fucking null. Of course. Uh, 
you know, and that's good. That's a good thing that I have that audience to help me because as I told you guys, if I was someone without you guys playing this game for myself offline, I would have quit a long time ago. I would have just said, fuck this game. And that's a bad thing. I hate to say it. Accessibility in the modern era oh my is God, that no. should be applauded, not chastised, but a lot of people who play Baldur's Gate 3 seem to be applauding the fact that it's not accessible. That's stupid. It's, Bill. it's, not, it's totally not accessible. Accessibility for disabled people and a game being accessible for casual people when it's a hardcore based game is a completely different thing, Phil. It's a completely different, Phil, thing. Um, you know what I mean. You need uh, help to figure out this game because its rule set is so unique and even changes on And also, also, I, I would say I understood the game. Even though I've never played a game like this, I'm not a fan of Dungeons & Dragons. I played about like three to four hours. I think I kind of understood what the game was about. Fly well, every time that you get into a fight. So, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but yeah, this game, you know, I, I get it. I get, and I'm enjoying it because of you, but without you, I would not enjoy it. And that's what I mean. Like, we got to, I can't even say from one minute, man, well, he just told me that advice. That's great. I don't even know if today we would even have a chance to investigate that stuff, right? I have no idea. I, we're going to see when we go in. I'm going to try to get your advice and figure it out and go from there. But that's the, the thing with this game. It's just so weird. And it seems like so... It seems like it's it's determined to not be like another game, right? Like, we're trying so hard to not be like another RPG. To not be like an accessible game. We want it to be our own universe, our own lore, our own rule sets, our own situations. And that's all well and good, except it'll drive you bonkers if you don't know what you're doing. It, Why don't you just look it up? I mean, what's stopping you? It would. This would, game would drive me nuts. Isn't there like an in-game, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say a guide, but like a tutorial section? If it weren't for you guys. So again, thank you because we're doing this as a live stream with your engagement. It's allowing me to enjoy and understand the game. But man, I would have tapped out on this game ages ago. If it was me playing it by myself. I'm just not that kind of, of gamer. Again, when I play a game, I want to unplug from everything I'm doing and just sit back and kind of relax. I don't want to okay. be like, oh, stressful situation, stressful situation. Yeah, but this is your job, Phil. Sometimes you're going to play games you don't like or are not uh, what you want them to be. Stressful situation. Like, this dude wants literally, like, the best of all worlds. Not just the best of both worlds. He wants to play games that are chill, that he gets to pick based on what he feels like playing. He wants to get paid a certain amount of money for playing those games, and he decides what amount of money. That doesn't seem fair. That seems like you want to have your cake and eat it too, and also you want to have a thousand more cakes that you can eat at any time. Doesn't seem realistic, and you shouldn't be fucking expecting it. And don't can't figure out what's going on. It drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. If, if anything, like again, I compared this to my early situations with FromSoft games, where in my original run runs. When I didn't know what was going on, those games were incredibly stressful and they drove me nuts. Once I got in line with the mindset, the mentality, and the rules of the universe of FromSoft, now I really enjoy FromSoft games, right? Like now I can play any FromSoft game from start to finish. I get it. I'm, I, I understand the rules. I get the universe. And now I know what I'm doing, and it's way more fun. But you have to get to that point. Well, this is my first game like this. So there was no way in this playthrough experience that we were going to have that first-time experience like I do now with a FromSoft game, right? Maybe two, three more games into this, I will feel more at home, and then it'll be more relaxing of an atmosphere. You know what I mean? Less stress and all that. But now it's like I'm way, way reliant on you guys to figure anything out in this shit. So, <clears throat> okay. Okay, I received a $3 tip. Oh, it's working, you guys. The positivity is working. Uh, from Hotel Dude. Yeah, Did this is a new guy. It's a new fan. It's a new game. It's a chill huh? adventure that's free to play, cool and fun. Yeah, look, uh, right now I'm playing too many games, buddy. He says, come back in 2026. Watch your streams because of you and not because of what game you're playing. Uh, see, I, I actually will agree and disagree. I do know that I have people who come by here every day because they want to hang out. And they want to have a chill vibe. But then there's other people who come by who specifically come by to see Darkside Phil play a certain game. 
and fills yeah, don't forget about the most people that come by to just see uh, DSP fail and stuff and be pissed off. ...to this game, they want it like Tekken. Will he get better and persevere and show us great gameplay, or will he freak out and lose in rage? And either way, that's entertaining to the audience, right? So I know that there's people who come by for particular games. They say it all the time. I'm very much not interested in this one, but I'll come back later when you play this one, right? So it, that's the thing. Everyone's different, and my audience is very diverse. I have people who watch me all over the world, of all races, all creeds, all genders. It's true. And wow. I all genders. Every single one. He did the research, you guys. I like that. All I the like genders. That I have that variety of viewer that, that I can appeal to a wider audience. If I didn't have that wise... But why, why are we banning then uh, Spanish-speaking people with Spanish-based currencies? Why are they getting banned when you have so many fans from all over the world? Very interesting, huh? Wider appeal like that. I, again, would have went out of business ages ago. I would have lost my pertinence. But there's some people who come for Baldur's Gate. There's some people who come by for Tekken. Some people will come by for my react show. Some people like the throwback stuff. Some people like the podcast. Some yeah, it's just the same like 10 people, man. It's just, well, let's not say 10. Let's be a little bit more realistic. It's just the same like 100 people. 200, 300, 500. They just can't show up for every single stream because that's fucking crazy. You can't show up for every single stream of anybody. Like it when I do a one-off. But now he's talking about it like it's completely different demographics. Completely different groups of people that show up to the different streams. And he needs to entertain them differently. Which is just not the case. Random game like Pal World, right? A any game I play, there's an audience for it, and that's a good thing. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And I think there's a very interesting discussion to be had on how many actual fans he has, because because he has a different definition of fans than most people. Because for him, a fan is somebody that helps support the playthroughs uh, financially. So in that regard, he might have. At most, I'm being super generous, like 50 people. At most. And I'm being very generous on purpose. So I don't say like 10 people and then it's like blatantly wrong. But like your casual guy who just watches your stuff, it matters also. But they're not the real fan. They're the fair weather fan. And if you actually think, if you don't trust me, you can go look up, um, you can go look up his fair weather fan rant. DSP fair weather. Ah, Fairweather fan. This is it. I think Tevin had a video on it. Uh, I don't think it's this one. It was... Oh, because I'm not on my channel, dude. So it doesn't show up. But you can find it here. It was a Tevin video of uh, DSP playing Minecraft and ranting about how some of the people are just freeloaders, dude, that just watch the free content and they don't actually support. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. So what else would you guys like to talk about today? Do you have anything on your minds? Tag me in the chat. Like I said, let's do a little bit more Q&A, unless you're done. And if we're tired and you guys just want to start with Baldur's Gate, then we could do that too. I'll Again, I'm going to leave this totally in your realm of control today. I'm very laid back, stress-free. What about the suggestion box? Okay. What happened with that? We don't have time for it? Germinator thinks I should completely quit YouTube and get a 9-to-5 job. Okay, and then I will lose everything because a 9-to-5 job would never pay me as much as what I make on YouTube, and I literally would have to lose everything I own, <laughs> including my home. By the way, it's not a good time to do that, considering the fact that rent out there is pretty much as expensive as what I pay on my mortgage now anyway. So, <laughs> uh, it's just not going to happen. It's the most ridiculous uh, thing I've ever heard. Yeah. It's spoken from definitely a perspective of someone who doesn't understand reality. So, oh, yeah. Well, your reality is much different from anybody else's, so cut the guy some slack. He gave you viable advice. <clears throat> The lucky gremlins are but like thinking about it factually, which job is going to hire this guy with absolutely no skills? Like the dude can't even use Google. He does or at least he just doesn't want to. Who's gonna hire him and pay him a hundred thousand dollars a year? Who? No, it's not happening. But he can do a, a, a hybrid type deal where he has a part-time job and then shows up two to three times a week to stream and he gets way more money because people actually miss him. Because uh, I've said this before, one of his core problems is that people just kind of watch him because he's there every day. You know exactly what time he's going to be there except on Thursday, and you just show up. And at some point, it's not special that DSP is here, he just exists. 
so they don't really feel like supporting him. He needs to remind them that he might not exist, dude. Brother. I don't- Or maybe he will, brother. Give memberships because I don't get a shout out for doing it. I literally shout out all gifted memberships except these fake ones that have been coming in. I've always shouted out gifted memberships and gave credit to each person who got one and told them to personally thank the person who gifted them. So I have no idea what you're talking about, Lucky Gremlin. It's completely contrary to facts. Oh, let's see here. I received a $2 tip from Lady Charisma. Yeah, we shout out all the memberships, dude, except the ones that are not fake, even though they are. Am I aware all my recent streams have a background hiss and my volume is lower than it used to be? Uh, my volume is exactly the same level it's always been. Yeah, and it's way too quiet. I haven't changed Always. It, so that doesn't make any sense. As for background hiss, I haven't heard that. Yeah, you're not gonna hear that, dummy, because it's picked up by the fucking microphone. Are you monitoring your mic? No, of course you're not gonna hear that, moron. Hold on, you want me to, want me to figure something out? Here. Hold on. Ready? What's he gonna do? Yeah, there it, there it is. It's at minus 30 dB. Minus 30 dB for me. If I... Okay, I'm gonna be fair. And I'm gonna remove the, the volume boost that I usually use because otherwise he's unlistenable. Here it is. Minus 40 dB of just pure raw noise. That's what you get. What happened? Two to two and a half hours. Okay. okay. Now, now on tonight's late stream at 6:45 p.m. Pacific time, I will take yo what that I've what with June, and I will turn that into an online multiplayer stream for around two to two and a half hours tonight. This um, dude is so stupid. For full disclosure purposes, I have. How do you expect to hear this? You need headphones, dummy. Watched videos of June online last night. Oh my god, he is so... Oh my god, he's listening okay. back to his own So stream. first of all, the volume thing is completely false. The volume thing is, it's the same volume it's always been. I can tell I'm looking right now in my mixer and everything. The overall volume of my videos has not gone down. I did hear a very light... Not hiss. Did you hear what it was? It was like a very, very light sound. I'm trying to put my finger on how to describe it, right? Now, what is causing that? I'm not sure. It could be various different things. Um it could be the microphone that I could easily just maybe unplug and replug in the whole mic setup. No, no, that's not going to fix anything. Fix and I could do that after no. the podcast is over today. You just got no noise cancellation, which is a default plugin in OBS that fixes it. It literally fixes it with let me see how many clicks. So you got one click to click on your audio track. You got a second click to click on filters. Then you need a third one to click on the plus button. And you need a fourth one to click on noise suppression. And then it's gone. Wow. Uh, but it's still too much work. Like I could just unplug the wire up front. I could unplug the USB cable, readjust, you know, make sure they're firm connections. I could also mess right here with this on the table here as well, this connection, and just make sure that all those connections are sound and not loosened. Maybe I hit something. It was could happen. I could easily just go bonk and then it makes a noise. Outside of that, I don't know what else it could be. Do you guys hear it? Hold on. I'm going to be very quiet and you guys, do you hear the hiss? Yes. We do. I'm being quiet because I can't hear the hiss, but it's in the setup. It's not in the office, so. <laughs> your whole problem is that your microphone is capturing all the fucking sound. No, you don't hear it? Without preventing oh, the certain sound from going the through. Fan, the, I mean, yeah, you can hear my This PC dude is so dumb. On, so you would hear that. There is no way. But you don't hear the hiss? Okay. Yeah, I don't hear any hiss at all. It very well could have been one of my PC fans just misaligned and making noise like a day or two, and now it's not anymore. No. I mean, you know, my PC's ancient. My, ancient. my PC's 10 years old, and two of the fans broke, don't even work anymore. No, it's not that. And a lot of them are kind of wobbly, and if they make a lot of noise, I have to open it and readjust them and get them to start up again, and then they're fine for, like, weeks on end. And then all Okay, sudden, Phil, then why, why, on Wednesdays, when your landscapers come over, why do we get to hear them? Think about that.
Try try thinking about that, and maybe it's gonna make sense at some point. Get misaligned and start making noise again. All right, as long as you guys say you don't hear the hiss, then that's a good thing, obviously. What? So that's good to know, and uh, <laughs> they don't even hear it. <laughs> okay, again, let me know if there is legit problems. I always want to look into them. The volume thing, though, again, I I don't know what could cause that. Everything on my setup is exactly the same. I literally have not touched anything. Yeah, it's always been bad. It's always been too too quiet. And it's because I think that he thinks as long as the audio is just in the green, it's good. And not in the, in the orange, as it should be. In regards to the volume of my setup, so I can't imagine how my volume could have dramatically dipped. Plus, I watch back my own videos. Like, I watched back some of the Tekken last night, and it all sounded great. So I really don't know what you're talking about there. Um, okay. Excuse me. Whew, I felt that one coming. Um, Lady Charisma did a two dollar tip. Says so I was thinking about your reaction to the Apple headset overview. I'm wondering if it would be interested in seeing a video about the other end of headsets you can get uh, with modern tech. Since most enthusiasts would never touch the Apple headset. I mean, I would, but at the same time, you are. He needs to move his microphone closer to his face and take his gain level down. Basic production. Fifteen year content creator here. There you go. Uh, but I I think he can even make it much better without changing anything about where his mic is placed. He can he can just make it at least better with just some basic like compression and and noise canceling. That's all you got, man. That's all you need. That the Apple video got completely blocked, and I can't even you can't even watch it. Oh, and the Apple video Apple got blocked. Blocked the whole goddamn thing. Wait, so wait, wait. My video didn't get blocked. Wait, is it? Could it be? that Phil isn't actually transformative in his reactions. Because my video, I don't even know if it got claimed. I'm going to check it now. Because I watched him watch that, that Apple video. Not only did it not get blocked, I don't think it got claimed at all. So is it possible that this dude that made me quit his react just because he wasn't actually reacting, could it be that he is just not transformative? If you were like, for example, let's say someone else were to Pick up uh, Vash for the sub dude headset for me to react to on the react show this week, is it going to do the same thing? Oh yeah, it's it's literally literally visible, not claimed at all, zero restrictions. So this is on the Swaycast episode eight from the 29th. Right? Is the it going to do the same thing, thing like any streamer does before their first stream is to go into OBS and play around with the mic filters and also set up scenes, and he's done neither. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the, the visual is something that you can work on as time goes on, but the audio needs to be on point. And this is advice I would give to anybody. You need to make your first streams just as watchable as your latest streams. Because if they're fucked up, audio issues are very annoying to people. And it's just really hard to get around. <laughs> I, hope, I hope not. I seriously hope not. Um, but I can't, you know, I don't want to be in a situation where but at the same time you have almost infinite uh, amounts of uh, videos and tutorials explaining exactly how you can do anything on pretty much any piece of software so you're you're good in that regard i get my show shut down because i'm watching a, a promo video and these companies don't understand copyright law right they don't understand that i can yeah i don't think you i don't think you so you uh realize what transformative is and i don't think you recognize copyright law sit in a competing headset uh add to watch it you know and, and learn about the competition yes but can i safely watch it is the real question it still amazes me that his snorts and burps can be controlled but chooses not to absolutely whenever he needs to control them there are none of them the boat the two streams with cat there are no snorts the side scrollers interview there are no snorts. And I think at some points he coughs, but he mutes himself before he coughs. Bankruptcy call, no snorts. So he can definitely control it. He just doesn't feel like it. He just doesn't want to. Okay. Uh, shout out to Lucky Gremlin. Lucky Gremlin did give 10 memberships. Congrats to Maxi Hill 23. You might wonder, I don't understand. If Lucky Gremlin gifted out eight memberships or 10 memberships, why did it only gift out eight? Hey, didn't uh, didn't Lucky Gremlin just get shit on, and then he gifts memberships? Uh, that's that's it. Really interesting. Because literally, didn't he just wait? Wasn't that the guy who told DSP to get a job, and DSP told him it's not like reality, and he's an idiot? 
so many gifted memberships that are that are the fake ones have been given <laughs> out that the system's having a tough time assigning memberships now. Oh, so he is officially cucked with the memberships. So people uh, paid him a fraction of a penny and uh, basically prevented him from getting other memberships. You see, like this channel, I I I, I lost count. I stopped counting. I'm pretty sure we're around 2,000 memberships now on this channel, out of which, no exaggeration. Oh, it's not the same guy? Maybe it's not. 1,500 are the fake ones, all right? So YouTube is now having an issue trying to figure out who to give gifted memberships to that are legit because everyone already got them, <clears throat> right? Here you go. Congrats to the random hero and Ichibans on YouTube who all also just got gifted memberships. Thank you, Lucky Gremlin, for the legit gifted memberships. I really appreciate that. And I hope that everyone enjoys them. If you did get one from Lucky Gremlin, please thank Lucky Gremlin. Please. Okay. Give him a hand job under the table. Please. <clears throat> okay, cool. Oh, let's see here. Dr. Oink just did a two- And now, now I think the landscapers have arrived because we hear a different background noise. $2 super chats to Suicide Squad. Could he is the same guy that claimed TIHYDPs weren't transformative. So he obviously doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are transformative, even though you can make a case either way, I guess. Because it's just like you kind of just clip in the dude and you're adding bare minimum stuff. Uh, but I, I would call them transformative. Kill Superman or Martian Man. There you go. But it's uh, it's much different Thanks. in the court of Thanks law. God, Thank God the court of law doesn't <laughs> apply to YouTube. Because otherwise, this guy would be screwed. A, a, a dumpster fire at this point. At this point, I can't imagine why anyone would care about it. It just seems to be. And by the way, guess what? It has been revealed <clears throat> that Kevin Conroy's final work as Batman voice acting is not the Suicide Squad video game. There is another animated movie in production right now. I think it's called... Phil is very transformative. He even transformed Ket into Andre the Giant. <laughs> You know what? I, I, I give you this one. He is transformative. I agree. That's a very good point. Well, like crisis on and also, also, Kat used to love um, anime. She used to love, what else was that? Uh, K-pop. And now she just straight up hates it. So he must have added some transformative feedback onto that. And it was three or something like that. That's the last Kevin Conroy work ever. Not this game. So you don't have to feel like you have to buy the Suicide Squad game as a tribute to Kevin because it's not the last thing he did. The last thing he did is not released yet, okay? Why, why would, mm -hmm. What? Why would you buy the game as a tribute to Kevin Conroy? You would buy a game people don't like and it pretty much looks like dog shit? Because what? I don't get it. Anyways, let's answer some more questions for PlayStation today. Eh. I mean, it's not a giant deal at this point, but for those who like that kind of social aspect game, that's cool, I guess. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's been so many years it's been Xbox and PC exclusive. I don't see the problem with that or why that's even a big deal. I don't know. I guess it's not, but it doesn't really have too much hype around it. Is it how the launch was pretty bad and then they made a bunch of other additions that made it pretty good but now i don't know i don't also even know the multiverses reboot well it's going to be the same audio like when he the multiverses game yes he voices batman but it's the same audio clips he's already used so technically is he in it and that a work of his that he's done yes but also the game's already been out just because it's gone now and when it comes back it's not going to be new kevin conroy voice clips or anything like that but no they're saying that the actual real final <clears throat> job that he did was voice work for this Find this animated movie that isn't it's still in production right now so okay nice relaxing content with some nice relaxing audio in the background minus 30 db of pure bliss turtle dude i have no idea he says but you know what you know what i gotta give him uh, uh, i don't even know how to say that one percent of credit for no longer having the PlayStation 4 dashboard music play while he's doing a podcast. I don't even know what he was fucking thinking, man. I don't even know what he was thinking. You go check out one of his pre-streams from back in the day. It's insufferable. 
It, it gets to you, man. It's so annoying. It's the worst. Play Last of Us 3. I have no idea. I don't think about that shit. Let's wait for it to actually be made, and then I'll worry about it. I don't have to worry about stuff like that years in advance. Yeah, it's like, this is the most low-effort screaming game, ever. The fact that the studio can't get their shit together, right? You can tell what happened is Druckmann put all of his effort into making the TV series. And he was really hoping he was going to bust into Hollywood and stuff with that. <laughs> he was really hoping it was going to bust. But yeah, that, there was a really funny photo on, uh, on Twitter about it. Where Druckmann is at some kind of an award show. I think it was a Hollywood award show. And he was just like standing there awkwardly. And I, I, I don't know. It was just very funny. And Hollywood <laughs> literally shunned him and doesn't care about the guy. Wait, they they so shunned they him. Now he's like, oh, shit. So now he looks, he looks stupid. And now he has to try to readjust. And he canceled the whole multiplayer game that everyone wanted. That's canceled. What? Like, what is this? What is this narrative we're making about the guy? Hollywood shunned him, so now he canceled all the games. Where does that even come from? So you know, who knows what's gonna happen with that studio? Quite frankly, I don't really care anyway. So, thank you to TR. Here's your guess for the save the business dent tip. Hmm. Mine is Lisa Oiklu. He will get at least fifty dollars from one person and get him to one hundred dollars. Um. I think, I think he's going to get to like 60 maybe during the podcast. And then, then somebody's going to make up the difference to a hundred and then somebody's going to give him more. I, I don't really know. I don't really care about his pay pigs all that much. Um, except the ones that are entertaining somehow, maybe, you know, the villain, he had some very funny videos. Uh, Derek is very entertaining. Redemption Games, for the little pathetic piece of shit pedophile he is, he's very entertaining. And uh, for the most part, I just don't care about him. Whoever is giving him money is just like, I, I don't have much to say about him. They're just stupid. Who became a member this morning, TR, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate that. Did I own a GameCube? I owned a GameCube much later. In oh yeah, De Derek is not a pay pig. I give you that. Derek is not a pay pig. But he is... Uh, he is contributing in uh, in attention and presence. He is there to make the chats, uh, you know, more alive than they usually are. It's life cycle. I bought one when they were like super cheap, and I bought a GameCube with like a ton of games for like three hundred bucks. I is he playing the game now? I think he must be. Oh yeah, he definitely is. So how much do we got? We got twelve minutes. I seriously had a GameCube with like seven or eight games. So you know the prices had dropped dramatically. Um. So I played Resident Evil 4 with the chainsaw controller, and I played um, Metroid Prime. Was it? No, I had three or four games on it that I remember distinctly playing and liking, <clears throat> but I never got too far in any of them. Resident, like, Resident Evil 4, I never beat. I only beat. I got past the village and the other part and past that. Um, this was in the mid-2000s. I literally never played that. I don't like stuff. I don't understand why you can't just do a submission box instead. It really is beyond me. Or maybe, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Because for a long time, I used to, to like, give him advice. And when I give advice to my stream, in on my stream, I mo more likely than not just share that with my audience, not intending on him following my advice. I don't think he's ever going to take my advice because I'm a, a damn dirty criminal. And, yeah, basically. But at this point, I think we just kind of reached the end. Like, I, I don't know how he can keep milking those people, how much money he thinks he can get out of them. I don't know with his, with his reputation and his behavior how he can get more whales. I just don't, I don't know. It looks like things really, um, they really snowballed for him in the last two years. And I thought usually what is happening now would happen like five years down the line. Because initially it was... You know, he didn't have money for, for taxes. Then he started not having money for bills. Then, almost after that, immediately, he started not having money for games. And when you can't even afford $70 to buy a game, you know there's a big, big problem somewhere. And now we have, we have to deal up with the, the problem. Yeah, it is like, a, it is like the, the showrunners of the show is like the net... Oh, wow. He got a big bomb by uh, one crazy uh, N-word. A 50 bomb but yeah it's like the showrunners decided to have less seasons than in than anticipated and we need to kind of just wrap up the whole ending like real quick it's kind of feel like game of thrones 
GameCube controllers were the best controllers. Changed my mind since Journey Bike. Uh, eh. I don't know. I thought it was weird. I thought I literally thought that whole concept. I just finished season four of The Sopranos today. It's my third Bunny's binge of it, where I'll finish it in less than two weeks. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So again, it was Nintendo so, uh, just trying. Yeah, and I also wanted to go through a bunch of other HBO stuff while I still have the subscription because I don't know how long I'm gonna keep it for. Because I went to Netflix. Netflix doesn't really have anything interesting. My girlfriend doesn't care about any of the stuff there, so I'm just uh, I'm just rocking that X, uh, that uh, HBO right now. Trying to be different, so let's make a console that's portable. Did anyone ask for that? Did anyone have a problem lugging around their PS2 at the time? I didn't hear any complaints, but they wanted to have a portable console that has a handle, it's a little box with tiny discs. Okay. What are we talking you about? Know, wait, 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 wait. Is, is he is he dissing? Hold on. Is he dissing the PSP? Okay, now this is gonna make it personal. If he's gonna diss the PSP, then I'm I'm personally involved with him now. He doesn't even know it, but I am. Buttons and stuff. It's like I'm again, coming for you, you PSP. GameCube. Oh, the GameCube. Okay, I don't care. And then you look at this competition, right? Like you look at PS2 and the controller it had. You look at Xbox, the controller it had. And then you look at GameCube, and you're like, this is the play school console. Like they're really going for the children's demographic. Big, colorful, rounded buttons, right? <laughs> The GameCube controller reminds me of like the speak and spell. You know what that is? It's the thing that has like but letters. You push the letter and it says A is for Apple. Phil, Phil, I hate to break it to you, pal, but look at your layout. Your layout is baby mode. Look at your background. Your background is baby mode. You blow bubbles for adult men. You put on clothes like silly hats and silly vests for adult men. You put on hats with lures on them for adult men. I don't think you have any kind of right of an opinion here. Uh, I, I do agree you have a right of an opinion, but it's not going to get taken seriously. And he begs still. Incredible. But that's the thing, man. You can make a million dollars a year, but if you spend a million and one, you're still going to be in his situation. And he does spend a million and one. You know, you, it's what it looks like. It's like the speak and spell version of a game console. The problem is, that's not what the console was. The console had great games. So why they made the console look like a children's toy, I have no idea. But that's, again, Nintendo always does this weird stuff. They've just got to be different, right? <clears throat> okay. Jade, how's it going? Hey, Jade is here. Hello, see me tonight. I'll see you for like a dragon. Sounds good. Back to Hawaii, ma. <laughs> there you go. Uh, really? Maguru-san says, new Samsung phones have the ability to live translate a phone call. My oh, God damn. Accurate, but it's a good step in the right direction. That's wild. Is that true? So you could call someone in another country or someone who only speaks another language and it would translate the phone call for you on the fly so you know what they're saying? Yeah, this is fun, but wait, I, I missed the whole uh, Hawaiian uh, Jamaican thing. Really? Maguru-san says, new Samsung phone... Jade, how's it going? No idea, but that's, again, Nintendo always does this weird... Wait, what, what happened with the... Where was that? God damn it. Jade, how's it going? He says, just oh, stop by to say hello to see me MF tonight. one dollar and he acts mud like a effing child. Yeah, well, that, that's him, man. It's like, he, to him, if if you give him money, it's like a sign of respect. It's like you're you're actually cucking out and he has power over you. So it's a, it's a really weird thing, man. He's just in this constant power struggle with everything in his life. And everything revolves around power, but he never has one. ...of a game console. The problem is, that's not what the console was. The console had... Hold on, so it's after the Jade thing. Console looked like a children's toy, I have no idea. But that's, again, Nintendo always does this weird stuff. They just gotta be different, right? <clears throat> okay, so now we say Jade, hi to Jade. He says, just stop by to say hello, he'll see me tonight. I'll see you for like a dragon, sounds good. Back to Hawaii, ma. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> Back to Hawaii, man. Bamba clad, brother. Bamba clad. 
Uh, what was that? Really? Maguru-san says, new Samsung phones have the ability to live translate a phone call. Yeah, maybe you can understand what Jade is saying then. Phone? You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't both sides have to need to have that same model of phone so they could both translate? No. Nah. Because let's say I'm speaking English and I call someone in China and they're speaking Mandarin Chinese. Well, what are not, they saying? Chicka Chang Wang? English and I'm not going to understand Mandarin. So we each need the same phone to do the translation. No, not that's really. There's a lot of requirements there. What are the chances that that's going to be on both ends, right? Well, I guess you just need that uh, that Android version that have that software in it. Because it's a software that gets that job done. Good morning, Mark. Good to have you here. Dabhan says, that's like Star Trek Universal Translator nonsense. That's right. We need it. We need the Babblefish. We need the Babblefish translator. No, we don't. That you talk. Oh, uh, this Q and A is trash, says, so a video man. Video for USB versus the internet about that that topic, so we can learn about it. <laughs> Bill says Sega's gonna let go of ten percent of their staff. He's now worried about upcoming remakes. Is that true? Was that announced this morning? Because I didn't see that in the news as of this morning. Did they just announce that? Sad again. If sad if true, but it seems like a common practice across the whole game industry right now, right? It just seems like the entire industry is in a state of decline. Like it all overexpanded way too much expecting that every game they pump out was going to be a bestseller and now what they're finding is a lot of the games they make don't sell well or only sell moderately which is not up to their expectation i i don't think they realized and i'm talking about gaming companies in general i don't think they they thought that every game they're gonna make is a bestseller they just got a little bit too comfortable with putting out mediocre games that just kind of people got used to them and whenever one of those games is a huge flop it hurts their bottom line big style just like the Suicide Squad. That game, almost from day one, people just fucking, they just looked at it and like, yep, I, I seen this before. I don't care about it. And now it's coming out and everybody just saying the same thing. But what are they going to do? Not release it? Just cancel it? And now they're all forced to downscale. Oh, and we got a, we got a big style Argentinian contribution from DSP's Anal Beads. Yeah, keep rocking them. Anal Beads. Oh, great. Right? <clears throat> Maybe one of these days I can get a membership, dude. Even though I'm not subscribed, I don't. I don't even know what's the the requirement to get a membership on this channel. I don't. Mark know. says I had the game and watch as my first handheld, and I had an Atari Lynx. What was the first handheld I played? The first. Okay, let me think about this. Probably a Tiger handheld game was the first handheld I yeah, ever. Yeah, I'm played. not. I don't give a fuck about these like placeholder questions and answers. Like, what's the first thing you did? What's this thing? The, the console that you did. And Have uh, you done this ever? Have you not done this? Many years later, I can't wait for like a dragon tonight. I've, I've... No, we don't care. Do I like spiders? Oh, I love them. They're amazing creatures. Why wouldn't you like them? <laughs> Let me put it this way: I have no problem with spiders as long as spiders don't go into intrusive parts of of a building or somewhere where I need to be. What the fuck does that even mean? Right? Intru what? I I like spiders unless they go into intrusive parts of the building where I need to be. What? Your bathroom is going to be taken up by a spider and you can't go and take a piss? What the fuck does that mean? Hey spiders, have a good time outside of my house anywhere you want to be. Uh-huh. Don't come into my house and start making giant webs in the middle of my house, you know? <laughs> they're they're helping you out catching all these fucking fruit flies you get from your garage, moron. <laughs> That's the problem. Do I, yeah, like I think bears? they're doing love, you a favor. I love bears. They're keeping the house cleaner than Cat does. I ride them all the time. I actually have tamed all the bears out here in the woods of Washington, and I jump on them. I slap a saddle on, I jump on them, and I mount them. I ride them throughout the state. Phil riding bears throughout Washington State, that's the new me. There you go. Yeah. Would I ever own a lizard? Let me put it this way, I'm not against owning <laughs> Dude, we completely ran out of questions. Completely. Now we're just like answering chat GPT generated questions. A lizard and my wife and I look at pets all the time at pet stores while we're we'll we'll buying supplies for Jasper. Um, but after having looked into it, basically... Basically, they're too hard to take care of. Lizards are very hard to take care of. From what oh, I, I got like we it. Actually, we're, we're considering perhaps... Um, if... If you've 
gathered anything from those streams with him and Kat is that they are the most low effort couple that has ever existed. Those two are actually soulmates in the amount of effort they want to not put into anything. Kat has a short hair because it's easy to take care of. They cook food that is easy to eat. They got Jasper beca because cats are easy to take care of. She got a job in retail because it's easy to do. And more and more and more of this. Like a snake? Like it's legitimately like a level one couple. Legitimately. At one point? Because you were thinking, oh, that'll be like fine. They, they, on TV, they only watch stuff that is easy to watch. They don't watch those mature-themed shows and those shows that have violence in them and adult themes and big drama. They don't do that. Anything that's easy. Anything. Alert. Don't forget about the, the budget for those games that are almost half a billion dollars now. Oh, yeah. Video game crash incoming. Oh, yeah, that, that is a big issue as well. The budget, they just cost too much. And they expect to make up too much money in revenue, and they just don't. And it fucks the whole company up. And, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, they're going to learn from it, hopefully. You know, Jasper wouldn't bother a snake. And then we watch, like, this video online, a guy who's all about taking care of, of uh, pets and particularly reptiles. And he's like, oh, so here's a very basic guide to how to take care of a snake. And then he literally went through, like, the most complicated over-the-top crazy amount of stuff about taking care of a snake oh you see they have to have this safe hide here and a hide here and one has to be a cold hide one has to be a warm hide you have a temperature regulator here and a heat pad here so you heat lamp here you gotta give this kind of food here make sure it eats this much here you gotta do this here be careful when you touch it here and here i was like what the fuck why is it so complicated because you're taking care of a fucking snake moron right it's insane what all the shit you have to do this isn't fucking animal crossing bro this real life. It's a complicated animal that's not supposed to live in your fucking house. And if you want it to live in your fucking house, you gotta play by its rules. To take care of a snake, and I was like, forget it. You know, I mean, we don't we don't have unlimited amounts of time to sit around taking care of pets. You know, Jasper is a very self-sufficient pet. There we go. He's part of our lives, but he's pretty what did I just say? Himself most of the time. All we gotta do is make sure his litter box is clean, give him food, give him treats, Give him water. Yeah, he's so he ter takes care of himself so well that he constantly gets UTIs, and they need to bring him to the vet and not even do blood work. That's how well he takes care of himself. He can do his own blood work. He knows his blood is good. I give him a healthy place to exercise, play with him, you know, give him the love he wants, and he's happy. But we, we don't want a pet that's going to take so much time, effort, resources, and everything, you know. Oh, <sighs> did I ever touch a snake? I have no recollection. If I did, I was probably very young. I don't have any recollection if I ever pet a snake or not. Venus versus our bearded dragon has a tank, a UV lamp, a heat lamp, and a hide. Took maybe 20 minutes to set up. Mark says Australia has tons of snakes. Brown snake is a nice snake. Battle Duck says if you think that's complicated, take your snake out for a walk in the park. Try to explain why it ate someone's poodle. Wait, what? No. And now we get a now now we get a member bomb by somebody I I don't even understand the joke the the guy is called the proud whore Reese Tipney gifted twenty memberships dude big ups for the positivity but I don't know who Reese Tipney is oh please ah uh, I get it okay never mind Thank God he'll never have kids uh you know what that is actually the best thing to come out of it because man those lol cows that have kids especially like people like onision i just i just hope they they get fucking taken care of and get taken away man because those people they they just don't they don't take care of them um yeah for reference onision had his daughter jump not jump but fall off like the second story of the house and I'm not even sure if it was the daughter or the son it doesn't matter um, he had his kid fall off the second story in the house, and that motherfucker came out to film it. I think one, one thing, sorry, I don't know where the yawn came from, it came out of nowhere. I think one thing that we would like to do long term, at some point in our lives, is get some kind of an aquarium. Because fish are what? awesome, and especially if you get fish that look cool, and are reactive to things that you do, um, it could be very relaxing, right? To have your own little ecosystem going in an aquarium 
The bro, you already got your ecosystem going in your garage. Just take care of that one and you're going to have beautiful maggots and fruit flies flying all around. It's going to be like a whimsical Disney Dreamlight Valley. The problem is I don't want to get an aquarium that is such an undertaking because I've heard you have to drain them and clean them. It's like, I don't want to have to do that all the time. Oh, this dude doesn't want to do anything. We're not doing anything in this household. Like, what the fuck do you actually do? It's a lot of work, probably a lot of problems, <laughs> you know, with that. And I'm curious, like, is there a- But, dude, don't you get a pet to take care of them? Don't you get a cat to take care of the cat and make sure that the cat is happy and it looks good and it's healthy? Don't you take it for that? Or you just get a pet for your own personal enjoyment. So you get to pet a cat every once in a while. You get to, to say that you have a cat and that it's just like your son. Way to set up an aquarium <clears throat> that is more self-sufficient, right? So you don't really have to do it as much. Now, years and years ago, I had a fan named Coral Guy. Now, he hasn't been around in ages. I wish him the best. I hope that he's doing well because I haven't seen him in a long time. But he used to come by the streams and he was actually a guy who set up aquariums. Like, he was an aquarium guy. And he said, <clears throat> basically, <clears throat> excuse me. No, that, that, that is a good point. I think a part of having an aquarium and the appeal of having it is getting to take care of it. And it's an ecosystem that you create and you get to nurture and you get all the, the nice little cute fish in there and you, you put them all their like little environment elements and stuff. So it's like, I don't know, Disney Dreamlight Valley or Stardew Valley, or the, that other one, Animal Crossing, you get to take care of something. That's the fun part. And this dude, he wants to skip the fun part. He wants to get to the part where it's just like, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because uh, I want to do it so I can say that I have fish. And every once in a while, I can look at the aquarium, and I can tap on the glass. And the, the fishes that are not actually dead, they can move. It's crazy. You can do that. Like, you can set up a really nice tank that has its own self-sufficient ecosystem, creatures that'll clean each other, clean, clean the tank half the time. And he's like, and you only have to maybe thorough deep dive clean it once a month maybe, right? But the problem is to do that, you have to spend a lot of money up front. Like you'd be talking spending probably thousands of dollars, like at least a thousand. And this is, this is his problem that has persisted throughout as far as I know, the last 20 years, he tries, instead of applying himself to a problem, he tries to, to throw money at it. And when you do that, you never actually learn anything, especially if it's not your money, if it's somebody else's money that they gave it to you. So you don't get to learn anything. Instead of looking up how I can make an aquarium, I can just pay somebody to make me an aquarium. And then that's it. And it's yeah. never helped him. To the point where nowadays he just, he's too inept to look up fucking Google. He can't even look up how something works on his computer. He can't even look up something about OBS. Good tank, the right creatures, the right setup, everything done right the first time. <clears throat> Basically, the more you skimp up front, the more work you're creating for yourselves in the long term to maintain it. Exactly, exactly what I just said. If you, if you don't throw money at the problem you need to put in effort and effort is bad for him spend more money up front you're going to get better quality set it up right and now you don't have to do as much work long term so that makes sense but when you tell me it's a thousand dollars i say well i'm not doing that i don't have that money right it's crazy a thousand bucks to set it up maybe long term again that's something we would like to do i feel um <clears throat> but i guess we'll see his long-term goals are actually crazy. If you make a list of all his long-term goals, you see stuff as getting credit is on top of the list. Getting pets is another part of the list. Fixing up his house. Of course, this is a thing you should do. That definitely should be on the list. I agree with that one. But a lot of those entries, if you look up his long-term plans, are just to get money again. He is. He can't possibly understand that the work of taking care of something can be rewarding in itself. Exactly. Stay miserable, Fi. Exactly. That's why a lot of people have gardens that don't, don't even have any, like, vegetables in them. They just have plants because those people enjoy taking care of the plants because it's, it's rewarding to you to, to take care of something, to see something happen from nothing, something be created out of the ground. But he just doesn't get it, man. He just doesn't find happiness in that. He just finds happiness in consumption, in devouring.
and this is why we are where we are in level one. I Everyone guess he saying, hasn't unlocked so those funny. skills yet. So Lucky Gremlin says he he knows someone with the 200 uh, 200 gallon tank. It's a lot of work. Balduck says you can build it up over time. You don't have to drop all the money up front. Mark says fish are expensive. Having a good fish tank is expensive. Right? See what I mean? I feel like it would be a nice relaxing thing to have. Put Why it don't you start with a what one single goldfish? Why don't we start small? A goldfish that costs like what ten dollars with the bowl and everything? I mean, come on. You can start small. See if, if that's something for you, because you're taking care of actual animals, like real creatures. In the corner, the front corner of our living room, and have a light piece in it, and now it like lights up the uh -huh. room here, the nice bubbling of the water, the fish. Yeah, so so you see the, the only thing he's caring about is is his experience, what he gets out of this, and which is basically just having an LED light in a bubbling sound effect. Moving around they're looking cool, it's a relaxing thing to look at at night and just ah, right? Just ah, this is awesome. But if it's a lot of work and a lot of money, then it ain't worth it, right? So, <clears throat> oh, ha has he still not fixed his dishwasher? What happened with that? Man, they must have been living off of paper plates for the last year. This is wild. And especially for him, who is not somebody like most people that you can just get a, a, a bag of garbage and throw it in the trash. Like, you know, in the big container, he needs to ride out to the dump because he lives in a super fancy gated community style community. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Right. All right, guys. Anything, any last, uh, last stuff you want to talk about today before we adjourn and we get into Baldur's Gate? Yeah. When are you going to get a job? McGurro Sons is perhaps in retirement. Again, I I'm a YouTuber. There's no retirement. You understand that? Like I'll be doing. Actually, there better. is. It's just a matter of what will I be doing? Because I know I'm not going to be doing full time gaming forever. Probably I'm going to change into someone who covers other kind of Dude. topics. You know, how events, even politics, stuff like that. I'm sure as I get older, things will change and we'll have to do that kind of stuff. Um, how, how do you think this is going to happen? How is this going to happen? While nowadays you're barely getting by off of like $30 streams and shit, how do you think you're going to make it for the rest of your life? And no, doing reaction videos to whatever is not going to help. How is it going to happen? <clears throat> I don't think there'll ever be a full... What is the long-time strategy for this? Because most people just think short-term. Hey, I got my YouTube channel. I'm going to make some cool videos. Hopefully people like them. Maybe we're going to grow the channel. And that's it. But for him, it's like, yep, I'm doing this for life. What my plan is? Cope and cope, but baby. Hope and cope. Time retirement for me. I don't see how it's even possible. Because, like, imagine having to explain this to Cat. It's like, yeah, Cat, so I pay all the bills, but I don't exactly know how that's going to work, like, 10 years from now when I can't even play games anymore because I guess I am old now. It's not happening. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, that's another concern, too, is that Jasper might, might be a cat who would go after the fish. I don't know. We have to set it up so it's cat-proof. I've actually seen tanks with cat viewing pods. So what you do is there's like, you know how most tanks are on like a, a stand, like a wooden stand thing. So the cat, there's a door you can open and the cat can go in from underneath and peek their head up and they're in a glass area that's protected. And they use, it's a viewing section. You know, I'll go to an aquarium. There's viewing sections in the, in the tanks of certain creatures. Okay, so we got a, a member drop that might actually be real because it's it's... Foxcroft, some guy that I've never heard of before. Uh, but it, it's not a troll name, so it might be real. So it's the same thing. The cat has. So we're minus 43 minutes. Let's see his reaction now. Is If he's going to react positively, if he does, that means he checked his YouTube studio and he saw an influx of uh, revenue. That's how we check some. Robert Sachs says if you didn't kill Minthara, there would have been an event with them. There you go. <clears throat> well, there you go. Okay. Very By the way, not a single contribution. Nice. Well, I guess we're done. We now go back into the Moonrise Tower to venture in. Should I uh, long rest? I probably should, right? Because I don't think anyone has their level 3 spells left. I think we've used them all. Okay, so is this bomb real or not? We should long rest. And his, his response to this is going to be very telling. <clears throat> okay. He's looking at chat now. He saw the bomb happen. There's no disputing that. Nope, completely ghosted. Completely ghosted. Any so I guess there's no even 
Not even a check. We're not even going to confirm if this was real or not. Not even going to confirm. Very interesting here. Very suspicious as well. Because I don't know if this dude was real or not. None of us really do. I wouldn't put it past him to get desperate enough to start a couple's only fans. No. Bring in a crazy amount just as a meme for the forked up people on this planet. No. Imagine seeing Ket with a Q gingerly. And he could prorate the membership for dents. No, 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 this is not happening. Uh, in, I, I know it's a little bit of a far-fetched idea, but even at its, its most basic and safe and sanitized form, it's not happening. Because on day one, all you need is one guy to become a member, and he's just going to leak everything to anybody who actually cares about this. So there's no incentive in even, like, subscribing to his OnlyFans or whatever. I think first he's going to start... Uh, showing off Cat a lot more because she makes some money, but at some point, people are just going to realize Cat is pretty boring, so it's not going to happen. What to do next? I, you, you know, your guess is as good as mine. So where are we here? We were Maybe after this, I'm going to watch one of the last day's podcasts, or just the, just the begging portion. Dating one of the followers of the Absolute. We fooled everyone around us. That got us to get to Moonrise Tower. Yep, no and, cares uh, given. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. How long is this dead air going to go on All right. for? I think we'll end the show. Seems like the questions have died <laughs> out. Thanks for a more chill atmosphere today, guys. Again, this is what I need. Just a more... What do you uh, mean a chill <laughs> atmosphere, dude? You started off with like a 10-minute segment. Uh, with a, I guess a, I wouldn't even call that an apology because it was like, I'm sorry, but it was everything else's fault for me acting like this, and I will keep acting like this. So it's not really an apology if you just admit to people, I will keep repeating this pattern of behavior. And I guess you just kind of need to deal with it because there are reasons for my behavior. That's not really how apologies work. If you're sorry about something, you're going to try not to do it. In best case, you're just not going to do it. Just a more relaxing day. I don't want to worry about anything. So today, let everything ride. Everyone relax. Let's have a good day together. I'm not going to worry about anything. Just going to have a good time with Baldur's Gate. Have a good time with Like a Dragon. And this is also him testing another strategy, which is, what if I don't beg at all? Maybe that's going to make people naturally support me because they're going to see how much I, how chill I am and how much fun I'm having. And they're just going to support naturally. Which I don't think with his business strategy of just begging the fuck out of people is going to work because they're just used to being begged. Gel and no stress, right? Really, just release the stress. Ah, release the fucking stress today, right? All right. Thanks very much for a good show. When I come back on Friday, it was a great to show. talk about. A great show, by the way. One super chat that, uh, wow, in the last 40 minutes has been none of them. And uh, one tip from One Minute Man, that is the top tip, and five more dollars from everybody else. Yeah, this is, is, not, is not positive. Is not positive. And like I said in the beginning, I think somebody's going to swing by and save the day. But this does not look good. It's caught off guard. And even if, even if they save him short term, even if he needs to make a begathon again, like some huge tax begathon or bills begathon or whatever. It's it's that. concerning long term because Deja now he's just sitting here admitting he's now. super stressed. He needs that money. I'm he really sure does to point. pay his bills, and it's just not working. It's just simply not his working. Own, his own intentions. And now we're just he's playing video games, which is um, right supposed to be the good part of this channel. Have dealings with that Raphael demon from earlier in the game. And now somebody's getting banned. Who is getting okay, banned? Actually? Well. Let's see. Let's see, you guys. And you guys trying to figure out who got banned, because I actually can't figure it out here. Uh, somebody got banned just now, and let's see who this might be. So I missed the podcast. Here. Here, let's have a nice Did we song. nail down what the Super, event, uh, the Super Bowl event is going to be like? Nope. Um, we don't have this one. Oh, you, <laughs> there's a kind of a troll who says, are you guys doing a community event today? I've never seen a channel get so many members. Yeah, you must be new here. They don't even count. They don't even get a shout out. And I mean, that's that's like kind of it. I don't see much trolling really right now. What's going on? Yeah. Did the game just fuck up? Are you serious? 
Why are we staring at a white screen? And did the game glitch out? Come on, it might have. man. So oh, I did. Okay, let's go wa watch one of the doing? one of the older pre-streams, so we can get the full explanation of what his current situation is currently like. Because as you guys know, I care very much about my boy Phil. Uh, so we got what? What do we have here? A bunch of game news. I don't care about this. Some good new ideas and chill Q and A. Wow. I know for a fact there was a bunch of like unrecorded begging. Actually, I might just go to the the Snort Hogan channel and get my stuff there. Because I watched a couple of those clips today and they were man, it's like vintage begging. It's it's pre-moist critical levels of of e-begging. It's absolutely unprecedented. Except it is precedented very much. It's very precedented. Uh with an emphasis on dented so we got, yeah, do we, do we have this one? Is, is this the one? Or let's go through the unrecorded first. We got DSP Unrecorded sends, uh, sends Like a Dragon to the Night Streams, which already happened. We know what happened with that. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Do a hard save here, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, start start up with the next part. About another ninety minutes, okay? Okay. Now, guys, just gonna say this one more time. I'm not gonna bring it up until the end of the stream. As I said yesterday, the problem when I play JRPGs is literally that for some reason we get lower attendance, lower engagement, and lower support. Engagement, you guys have been pretty good. Support. Haven't gotten a single tip, basically, since we started the gameplay. I think there has been one super chat all day, and everything else has been fake memberships that don't count. So, this is the point I'm making, is that I like this game. I would love to play this as daytime streams. I literally can't do this as a daytime stream if it's dead all the time. So, this is going to just have to become a night stream, and there's nothing I can do about it. I want to play this game more. I want to unlock the island mode to do with my wife. But I can't have it as daytime streams when it's just dead slow. All right? That's just, it's cause and effect. There's nothing I can do about it. I, You know, when I'm playing other games like Tekken or Baldur's Gate 3, and those are bringing people in who are going to support the streams, those have to be the day streams. All right? So I just wanted to understand. That's what's going on. Okay? It's not that I don't like the game. I love the game. I'm having a great time today. But that's, it. every time I play this game, it's the same thing. I can't have it be like that all the time. You understand? So... It is what it is, all right? So if you like this, please support it. We still have 90 minutes left, but yeah, it just sucks that for some reason my, so, my audience doesn't resonate. With how how long has my mic not been working for? God damn it. With JRP. Sometimes it just stops I don't working, really get man. Any support when I play them, it really drives me nuts. You know, it was the same thing with Sea of Stars. There was like one person who would come by randomly with a big tip and everyone else it was just always dead playing Sea of Stars. It's like, I don't know what else to say, you know? <clears throat> Oh, God damn it. Well, I guess I, I didn't say really much. You got to see what this whole segment is about. We haven't been around recently. It's just kind of a generic begging segment, but there are so many of them in the last couple of days that it, it fucking blows your mind. Sadly, we've gone through quite a bit of nonsense here recently. These gifted memberships are all fake. What it is is they're using a way to, th to look like they're in another country. And they come in here, <clears throat> and no exaggeration. This is worth a watch if possible. Almost two years ago, but compared to today. Sure, dude. Everything is possible here. Uh, except things that I don't like. So, let, what, what is this? Next. What is this first? Because uh, I can see it's timestamp. So, I'm, I'm just going to go into it raw. You know, cold turkey, as the guy would say. Even though it doesn't make much sense. Um, the pre-stream podcast, episode 162, June the 6th, 2022. 2022, god damn it. So, what do we got here? Let's see what Vike sent me. Okay, I want to get something out of the way. I seriously don't want to talk about this all day. I fucking hate this. I like literally <laughs> what I'm about to talk about, which I have to because it's business. I hate this portion of ever having to do this on stream with you guys or ever in an on-demand video. I hate 
this part. And I'm already on board. I already love this. Whatever the fuck this is. I have no idea what it was. Uh, maybe it was just a slow week. Maybe it was something else happened. But I'm going to find out. So this is June the 6th, 2022. But I have to do it. Okay? You ready? Can, can I you am. Get out of the way? Yep, please. Okay. So, this weekend, I had an entire demonetized day outside of small segments that were monetized and didn't really do much, okay? In a normal streaming day, I would normally raise a certain amount of fundraising in my normal business. That I didn't even come close to doing that the entire day Saturday, okay? So I'm like, all right, maybe we'll, that's, that's fine. Maybe we'll have a rallying because people knew I didn't want anyone really contributing on Saturday. I wanted to demonetize that event because it was meaningful to me. What? <clears throat> maybe there'll be a rallying on Sunday. Wait, 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 uh, wait, 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 wait. No. Is, is the event he talking about the, the Rambo and Howard react? Is that the event that was quote-unquote demonetized? Even though, yeah, keep in mind, that's his narrative for the whole event. Is that just because Howard was criticizing him for monetizing his friends, he did it again. But he didn't put ads on the videos. So he didn't get uh, like $5 extra or something. But instead, he was still taking uh, super chats. He was still taking memberships and everything else so yeah by all means it was monetized it absolutely was absolutely was there's a kid story of a man dying of hunger someone offers him raw rice he chooses to die because he's too lazy to cook it's dsp's story you know uh in bringing up this is a very good reminder of the whole story of uh it's not even a story i don't know what would you say it a saying of you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And this guy has been given fish every single day of his life. So he not, never understood how to, how to catch fish. He never understood how to go fishing so he can provide for himself and be sustainable and be independent. So that's why I, I get somebody sending me a clip from two years ago that sounds exactly like this. Exactly what we're getting next, like today. So there's been zero progress in two years. Oh, yesterday was another slow day. So now it's like a day when there's pretty much nothing and a day when it's very slow. And now we are the last day of the week before my day off. And in this one, he seemed like he was in like a super alcoholism mode. Is this a stone cold Steve Austin shirt he's wearing? Where did that shirt go? I want to see that shirt nowadays. Now, that's actually a pretty nice shirt. Why do I need to bring this up? All right? Let's see why. Because tomorrow's my day off. I got two big bills due this week. Oh, this is classic. there's new games on Friday. So it's kind of like everything all at once. It's not, oh, there's one particular thing. It's three things all in one week. All right? <clears throat> we got the two so, big bills. Tips are what pay for everything around here on a daily basis. Tips yeah, I know. Grocery bi uh, bill tips pay for any kind of errands and things i need to run on my day off tips pay for my one meal a week that i have out oh yeah by life. the way by the way we got a new drop of bills wake up everybody new bills just drop now we got what what was it Thri tri monthly bills was it bi-monthly bills we got new bills coming out okay the the triple a bills market has been crazy this year with all those bills tips pay for most try monthly of my yeah this time of month because all that youtube payment money that i got last month is i'm gonna well try and find that segment my mortgage my car payment etc um it's all you know tips are really what pay for all that stuff um on a weekly basis and now i've now had you know a uh, good question how long has this guy been begging on the internet the first recorded beg we have and it wasn't consistent back then but the first recorded beg is from 2003 when he was shilling his PayPal. And then the actual intense begging starts around 2014, 15, and climaxes in like 2017. 2017 was like save the house type shit. Like crazy shit. Then in 2021, I think, no, 2022, late 2022, he got made fun of Moist Critical for begging so hard, and he pledged to himself that he wasn't going to beg so much, but he kept begging from then on as well. He just packaged it differently. It's like, you know, a, a brand that you like is just getting a repackage. That's exactly what happened. 
And uh, now he's just begging full steam. And he kind of admits that he's a lol cow, but other people made him a lol cow. Six day streaming week, you know, I think I had one really good day. And then I had two kind of, you know, normal days. And then I had a zero day where basically it was like I never streamed. A zero a really day. slow day. So it sucks. Just, yeah, this is fucking honest, wild. Okay? I, I don't even know how long this goes on for. Um, and tomorrow's my day off. And then on top of that... Is this the lunch meat sandwich one? Vikes, did you send me the lunch meat sandwich one? Is this it? This is gonna be crazy. Uh, sandwich. Uh, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. Within two days of my day off, I have it sounds like bills it. due. And then I have to buy games for Friday. Okay? So, before I even mention any kind of monetary contribution... If you want to help with those games coming out on Friday, you absolutely possibly- He didn't ask for fishing tips. He asked for fish you fakun adio. Oh, why doesn't DSP just fish? He doesn't have time for fishing. You know what? That is a very good point. Now that, that makes everything I says completely uh, invalid. And I stand corrected. He just doesn't have time to fish, you idiot. That's why you gotta give him the fish. Positively can't. All right? You can get me credits Big ups, uh, on either network, Yona Xbox for the Live, Super or Chat, PlayStation dude. Network. Because and you know, it, it, he looks like he has less energy here than he does nowadays. He looks like he was super hungover during this stream. <clears throat> the quarry, I guess, is cross-platform. So it doesn't really matter what, what console I play. It yeah, I, I'm just fucking lost in all this begging. Let's uh, let's go back to watching some uh, some more relevant stuff. They're buying chunks of 50 memberships for like a penny. I wish that yeah. was an exaggeration. It's like a penny. I don't even get paid for it. So all these memberships... No, it, it might even be less than a penny. I think it was 0 0.004 or something like that. It's actually great. It's fucking great. It's the best thing that can happen to this guy to expose that he doesn't give a shit about what his fan base gets. He doesn't give a shit about perks. He doesn't give a shit about viewer experience. He doesn't give a shit about putting the customer first. He just cares about himself. And man, this was the best thing that could happen. Just go out and I get zero. And they've been doing this for about a month. So the problem is now this month, I'm super behind because everyone who would have bought a membership legit already got one gifted. So now I'm massively down revenue on this channel because there's no real memberships anymore. Yeah, so... This has been happening all month, and it almost destroyed the React channel because the React channel was re relying on members to nominate clips, and it was th throwing that. I fixed that, luckily. But there's no way that I can fix this. No, at all. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can do about it. Um, it's Correct. just a thing that they're doing, and it sucks ass, and I can't... I, I, that's what I mean. So this sucks because not only is this happening... But now I'm trying to play new games like this one, and it's like, look at the stream. Like I haven't had, even had a contribution the whole stream. All these contributions came in during the during the, the podcast. You know, that's what I mean. I love this game, and but I guess I have to play it as night streams, and we're playing it for six months. I don't even know what else to say. Like, how else am I going to do this, right? I have to play stuff on the day streams that's going to bring people here who are going to support my business. So, it's life, I guess. It sucks. <clears throat> All right. So, I'll be right back. I'm just going to mute the mic and pee, and I'll be right back. Very nice. We're going to be back soon, you guys. Okay, he's back. All right. All right, guys. So, if anything Am I, comes... I going to do the state of play? Well, it starts in, like, 20 minutes. So, I guess, yeah, why not? I'm pretty curious to find out what's, uh, what's going to be unveiled. So, I guess so. Then... Thank you in the next hour and a half. And those events are pretty that. cool to be streamed. There's nothing so I can why do not? It. I'm actually going to close my blinds a little bit to make it darker in here because I just realized you can barely see the lighting. Um, but we're just going to enjoy it. And then likely this is going to be the final day stream of this game, which really sucks. I wanted to at least do this at least one major stream a week. But at this rate, you know, like I said, it's everything at once. Always this is how it works, right? When they say it rains, it pours. So number one, January already is a slow month because ad revenue disappears from YouTube. So already I knew I was going to lose revenue. Then this whole stupid gifted membership thing happens, and it screws me out of a lot of money. Now I play a game. No one <laughs> supports this particular game, even though it's like a 100-hour RPG. It's literally like everything at once. <clears throat> it sucks. It does I suck. I absolutely wanted to have But it sucks for you. So, yeah. You know, it's pretty good. Have this as a daytime stream to alternate with the other games. It, it ain't going to work, as you guys can see. 
right? All right, let me uh, right. close the blinds here. And, and, and we got to go close the blinds. Did. I bought the most expensive version of the game because I was anticipating we were going to unlock the island minigame and I could play it with my <laughs> wife. And that yeah, this dude, this dude who is constantly strapped for cash and is talking to you, is constantly talking about what is the cheapest way to do something, what is going to be fitting in his budget, what is going to be good for his wallet. This dude bought a $110 game. And he didn't even know when that part of the game was coming up. So now he's super disappointed he can't get to it. But there is a workaround. If he really wanted to play that game, they could just play it on Cat's account or on Cat's Xbox and just hang out in the game, play it as like a one-off stream or every once in a while, and then Phil can continue his own playthrough on his own account. This sounds perfectly fine to me. But somebody brought up the idea on uh, Twitter.com which is, um, yeah, I, I replied to that. Uh, here it is. And I replied to it with a photo of my Xbox Series S with a banana for scale. So you can know just how big it is. Because DSP claims that it's too much work to take Cat's Xbox that has literally two cables going into it. One is the power cable and one is the HDMI cable. But it's too hard. To get that little device that is as big as two bananas and put it in the office. Here's him saying it. Why can't I use Kat's Xbox for the co-op? Because we're not going to physically remove her Xbox from our setup downstairs. Physically bring it up here into my office. Somehow hook it up to my setup to get it up and running. Just to play the one session of this island. And then bring it back immediately every time we want to play. In addition, the point... And this motherfucker is acting like he needs to get a forklift to get a little ass Xbox Series S to his office. But then, we also have the whole gimmick of him talking about this like it's been five years in the making. Oh man, I've been waiting for five years to have my wife play a game on stream with me in co-op. And we just it just can't happen? That fucking sucks. Yeah, you know very well, you rad bastard. You can make it happen. You just don't feel like it. That's not until over 20 hours into the game. So now it's going to be weeks till we even get to that. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it's like everything just ha has to happen. And that's, that's, that's a part of why this guy is so fun to watch. Because for every excuse, you can debunk game. it like it's 10 times. Series in gaming. I just hope it isn't only on VR that would such a waste. Wait, are, are we getting a, a new Metro game? God damn. I pretty much own all of them and I've never played them, dude. I'm just too scared of it. And I, sometimes I should play a, a horror game on stream just so you know what I'm talking about. When I'm talking that I'm, I'm I'm a fucking little pussy bitch when it comes to video games. I'm fucking I I am, dude. Wait, I over. am. It's actually wild. And I know they're for a fact they're really good games. I just I, I just can't. It's not my thing. In unless it's on stream. I can play it on stream just for the for the gimmick of, of me just like losing my mind. Right? It's just I'm just so used to it. Everything has to happen in exactly the manner that fucks me, you know. <laughs> of course. Every circumstance. <clears throat> right. Because, like, I, I tried playing Metro Exodus. I'm going to switch to a different clip. I tried playing Metro Exodus, and there was some, like, on one of the first um, first open areas, I see, like, a, a huge mutated crab or some kind of a lobster or something like that. And I will never be able to unsee it, man. Like, that shit terrified the fuck out of me. Granted, I was baked like a cake at the time. I was so baked beyond belief. And then I see this big fucking crab coming at me. I, I'm, I'm clocking out. I never played it after that. I never did. Uh, so uh, let's get some more unrecorded stuff. So this was the first one. Like a dragon going to the night stream. That happened. Then we have the end of the stream. Well, let me tell you something, brother. He wouldn't have to bring the HDMI cable, he could use the one he uses yep. for the Switch or PS4, and I think the PS4 and Series S uses the same power cord. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think it's pretty much the same one. Or, I mean, th the whole thing is like, here we're just talking about a power cord being plugged in a console, and how that's just too obnoxious for him. Like, come on. What kind of an excuse is this? Leveled up, I got a bunch of good items there. Powers. Oh, so we're going to clock out here. Live Wednesday night. If and as you can see, nothing has changed on the leaderboard. It's a very sad, sad picture. On demand. Uh, you know, more videos coming later this week. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so very much. I'll see you next time for more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Good stuff.
Okay. So, guys, that is it for the stream, obviously. Tonight, it is Pal Word. And then, uh, when I was one of the least supported streams I've done in ages, the 50 bucks tips you see down there, we got on the podcast. Okay. So, it seems like whenever I play this game, for some reason, there's no support for it. Alert. You should play it. The story and characters is amazing, and the gameplay is great, and the graphics are amazing, and it's not scary at all. Well, it is scary to me, and everything else, I agree with you. I played a little bit of Last Light as well, and I liked it. I like those... Um, especially post-apocalyptic uh, uh, post games that take themselves seriously and it's like a gritty and grounded and serious environment is great. It's just like, I haven't really found a good time to play it, man. Because most of the times I'm playing games, I'm fucking baked as hell. I just want to relax. And some of those games like, like Alan Wake 2, I'm still like one hour into Alan Wake 2. So, I hate to say it, I wanted to play this game as a major game. It's just too progress. spooky for me, man. I just want to chill. I just want to chill and have fun. That's why I just play FIFA in uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. And recently, I've been playing um, uh, Forza 5, because that shit is just amazing. Support, so it looks like this is going to be a night stream moving forward. I've been getting DUIs constantly. Yeah. What can I do? I have to, you know, again, other games, when I play them, people are showing up and supporting. Tekken, yes. Baldur's Gate 3, yes. This game, no. This is the third stream of the same things happened. So, uh, it looks like it's just going to have to be night streams, okay? So, the next stream for this is Wednesday night, by the way. All right? All right, I hope to see you all tonight for Pal World. That's going to be fun. It's always chill fun when we play it. And uh, I thank you all. Good stuff, and I will see you tonight for Pal World, okay, guys? All right, bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. And now... The mask comes off, even though... Oh, no, hold on. This, this was the unrecorded segment. All right. My bad. The mask was off already. Uh, so now we got... What do we got, actually? We got these two unrecorded. Then we got an investor meeting. And we need to rally again. We got only two days left. Today is the last day. Keep in mind, it is over after today, even though it's not. Because when he's doing the Super Bowl thing, that's when he told people to show up and support him. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Uh, illegitimate gifted memberships. And I say they're <laughs> illegitimate, even though, according to YouTube standards, uh. they're fully purchased and paid for. Uh, it's obvious that YouTube didn't intend for this to be this way. And what I mean by that is people using VPNs to look like they're from another country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't need the recap on this. What do we need, though? In it, and they could buy a car. Oh, wait, hold on. I want you to think about how broken that is. That would be like saying. <clears throat> and now we're, we're going to get an analogy that makes no sense. Someone, I love it. Someone from one of the, these countries where they're using this VPN to pretend like they're from could come to the United States with a wallet with $100 in it and they could buy a car. Yeah, but can you buy a car in the U.S. for a thousand, for $100? Because he just said you have $100. Which implies they're like American dollars, and you can't buy a car with $100 in the U.S. But never mind, I'm not nitpicking literal brain-damaged analogies. Literal, like, lobotomized-level analogies. Do you think that would be allowed? Yes. No. <clears throat> of course not. That's ludicrous. You cannot buy a brand new car for $100. But with this exploit that they have discovered, that's what they're doing. Okay? So... <clears throat> It's obvious that this is not something that is intentional. This is something that someone at YouTube, when they implemented it, didn't know what they were doing. Just idiotic. But that's not surprising because that's par for the course for the, some of the people who do stuff at YouTube. Um, <clears throat> and then, when it's finally discovered, everyone has to suffer for it until someone there wises up and fixes it, which could take years. Um, yes, this, this has been affecting me this month. It has affected tons of people on YouTube over the years. But it's not a widespread enough problem that YouTube cares. If it affected the biggest content creators, then it would they would care, but, you know, it doesn't really affect them. <clears throat> because they have so many people usually watching and yes. contributing, that it doesn't matter if a bunch of their memberships go out and nobody gets paid for them, okay? Yeah, but here we get the, the other side of the coin, which is he gets a lot of memberships and, like, a third of those people are actively watching him, or at least he averages a third of those views. So isn't that... A another problem by its own like a channel like phil should be expecting to have like 300 memberships at most and if if you can get 300 memberships with his viewer base that's crazy
That means you're doing a good job. This dude wants to have a thousand. Because he convinced himself he got like a, a million people watching him, but they're just different demographics. Um, the good news is there is a positive thing as a result of all of these gifted memberships. All right. Because according to YouTube's criteria, they are real memberships, despite the fact no one's getting paid for them. Um, this channel, as well as my other two channels, DSP Reacts and DSP Throwback, have gotten hundreds upon hundreds of these, in my opinion, illegitimate memberships. But that has given the channels more perks. So for example, on this channel in the last three weeks, we have unlocked something like Six to seven emote slots. And as you know, okay. you remember right now. So it's actually a good thing, I guess. Now you'll see them. Sounds to me like a good thing. Um, It's a bunch of versions of me as the Street Fighter characters, Ken and Ryu. I think there's like three or four of those emotes. A couple more. ESP Cozy emote. Obviously, in this case, no one was expecting that this channel was going to have a ton of emotes unlocked in one month. It takes hundreds of... Of memberships to unlock an emote slot on YouTube on YouTube so it's not like <clears throat> anyone predicted that, that oh yeah speaking of which uh, I guess I also have some open uh, open slots what kind of an emote would you like to see I'm asking for your feedback here please tell me that was going to happen right um but hey enjoy you know, if you are a member, you get access to those emotes, and the good news is they're never going away. I want to have, yeah, I want to have a spoon with, like, a, a poop emoji on it. Wait. That's what Even I want to have. lose all these gifted memberships, which is going to happen. These aren't going to stick around forever. Um, We're going to keep those emote slots, so anyone who remains an ongoing member of this channel will get those emotes. Oh, and I definitely need a remastered emote of Cat, because we need to have, like, present-day Cat as well, because now we just have the classic Cat. Which is pretty cool, right? So at least there's something positive that kind of comes out of it. And then going hand in hand with that, both over on DSP Reacts and on DSP Throwback, there's hundreds of these bogus memberships that have unlocked emote slots, and I've added emotes to those channels as well. So if you're someone who is on any of my channels and you either got one of these gifted memberships or you decided to support the channel and actually buy one, which is nice of you, because thank you for that, because that's really the support that keeps me going. That's my major source of income. Um, you're going to have access to tons of emotes in chat. And you can use those emotes in video comments as well. Just got to emphasize that. Because a lot of people just don't post the video comments on my stuff. And yeah, they, I, I don't mean, know why. They don't. Because I approve all positive comments. The only what, comments the, the, I don't approve what the are fuck? ones that are like... I approve all positive comments. So it's just people sucking your balls then. Like, why Why would you even say that? I approve all positive comments. Well, I mean, good. Sometimes you got to have some negative comments, too. It's just fair. If you're going to be there on the internet, putting yourself out on the internet, talking a bunch of shit, then you should allow people to talk a bunch of shit to you in your comment section. That's just fairness. I completely... Because this is the same dude that maybe even this... Uh, no, it wasn't this day in particular... Two days before this, actually three days before this, he told people to eat shit out of his ass with a spoon. You don't think that warrants any kind of negative comments? Completely off base. God damn it. Like, let's say it's a video on Tekken 8, and someone goes on a rant about a completely unrelated game. Why would that be on a Tekken 8 video? So I'm not going to approve that comment, right? Well, why do you get to decide where people get to say stuff? But anything that has to do with the video, that has to do with... Constructive criticism, even if it's saying all oh, you're And of course, constructive criticism is anything that he decides is constructive criticism. It's not an objective thing. It's whatever he decides it is. Gameplay sucks. Here's how you can improve. I approve it all. All right? It's only like blatant insults, you know, and, and crazy off-topic stuff that you don't see. So if you comment on my videos, you're going to... This is actually factually untrue because I have tested this and I have left them intentionally very accurate comments um criticizing him i would say it's it's completely uh insult free and it is very fair and none of them have made it past the filter not a single one and it's not from an account that i've been banned on and get those comments uh on there and seen and so you could use these emotes and you know say some silly things right so consider that especially if you're someone who watches my videos and i haven't done that a lot i've done that enough to prove a point I mean, every day, 
thousands of people are checking out my stuff here on the channel, I don't get a lot of comments, all right? It would be a good thing to do, good practice to maybe start commenting on the videos and get that feeling of community going. You know, I haven't really mentioned that in a while, and that's something that maybe I should mention. You know, I always say engagement. Engagement, I talk about on streams all the time, because without, without engagement with you on a stream, it feels like I'm just talking to myself, and I'm here by myself, and that I don't want. I, I did that for many years. I don't want to go back to being that kind of creator, because I feel it's boring. Okay. Yeah, and my favorite part of all those years is the time where he pretended. So he was live streaming, but at the same time, he wanted to record gameplay for YouTube that is completely untainted by people's pop-ups or their chat comments or anything. So he just pretended that chat doesn't exist. That's probably my favorite part of DSP's history, where he just straight up shamelessly pretends they don't exist unless he wants to make money off of them, which was the case at the time. And then they existed all right. But now, with us having these interactive streams, it's so much better. And the same goes for the, the videos. If you're watching my stuff on demand, please leave comments on the videos. Enjoy these new emotes that you have unlocked if you're a channel member, okay? So at least that's, that's one positive that has come out of all of this negativity. Sadly, yeah, we have today and one more day left this month. And these are the last two days for me to essentially rally and get support from you guys to have a good month end. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest, it's this week has been mixed. Some days have been absolutely outstanding with people showing up and engaging and supporting. And then other days have been slower, particularly every time I play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. It's as if we slow down to a, a snail's pace. Uh, people don't stick around <clears throat> and the support dries up. And I, I can't make people on this channel like JRPGs any more than I already try. I love JRPGs. I enjoy the heck out of them. Hell, the stream yesterday... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yap, yap, yap. I know, I know he does enjoy them because he's played a, a crazy lot of them. And for some reason, he likes the Yakuza games as well, even though it is pretty counterintuitive for DSP to like those games that almost never make him money. I don't really know why he is so attracted to them, but it's, it's interesting against that's unfortunate i i've kind of learned that over the years over a decade ago i did what was called the summer of retro where i played a bunch of games from my youth including yeah Legend yep yep Go, yep because I, and it went right over almost everyone's head at that point and people just complained the whole summer and said oh you screwed up right <clears throat> and that's disheartening to me because that's the stuff that i love and i want to share what i love with you because you're my audience right i want to have that connection with you and show you that i have passion for games and it doesn't just root from, oh, it's a hot new release and everyone's here to see it and drop, you know, drop views on a new game. It's Oh, yeah, that, that is a good point. I guess you could call it digital tourism. And he gets to feel like he's experiencing somebody else's culture just as good as he will if he actually went there. Which, I mean, if, if you're as um, completely lacking of any kind of information as he is, then you might. You actually might. More about gaming as a whole. Where gaming came from, where it's been, where it's going, sharing those experiences. I love the Chrono Trigger playthrough I did over the summer. That was super meaningful to me, right? So, so for me, it is disheartening, all right? Very disheartening. Very disheartening. Uh, that I play a certain style of game that I love, and it doesn't resonate. And I can tell you right now, that's, that's to a T, that's infinite wealth. I'm loving it. There is an audience for it, about, about two to 300 people. And then everyone else is like, meh. And that sucks because the game's so long. And remember, that's the game that I want to play enough to unlock this Dodokan Island, I think it's called. There we go. Now he I likes... Think Dodokan. Oh, Dodokan. yeah. This, uh, there, there's a really good part of this rant as well. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it's just like Animal Crossing. So, by the way, I have an update on that. My wife unlocked it yesterday. Now, she's way ahead of me. I think she said she's in, like, Chapter 5, okay, of the game. So she's like over 20 hours in. She's been playing it ever since it came out Friday, pretty much daily. Now she's at work, so she hasn't been playing it as much. But she played a lot of it in the first two days, and she finally got to that. And, excuse me. Woo! Oops. Wow. Essentially, um, she's loving it. She says she played it all last night. When I was doing uh, Pal World last night, she was playing this island. She's like, it is Animal Crossing to a T. It's got fishing. It's got... But okay, okay. Why don't you... Fucking dented ass motherfuckers. Why don't you just play Animal Crossing? You both have the game. Why don't you just play that instead? If you're just itching for something like that to play in co-op, why not just play Animal Crossing?
This is what, what fucking makes me go crazy. Why are you bitching about this game so much when that game is an imitation of the game you want to play? Uh, yeah, we're watching the, the state of play chat. This is, uh, this is what I put on the screen. That's why it's going crazy. Because it's starting in a minute. So there we go. We're pretty much, pretty much on the you way. Know, planting and digging and, and all of that stuff. It's literally got everything from Animal Crossing. Okay, Plus, just play Animal Crossing. Because your, your settlement or your resort gets attacked by pirates. Because like, this is actually a very, good, uh, a very good gimmick to have. Is like once a week you can have Cat on and they both get to play their Animal Crossing island. And they get to show us, oh, this week Cat put a painting of a little puppy. Oh, it's so cute. This week Cat caught a fish. And then we just get to do that like his wife is basically a child. But, I mean, what do you expect from Cat at this point? She's trying real hard, you guys. She's trying real fucking hard. It's, so you have to fend them off? No, this is not. The chat you see on screen is the state of play chat. Because I'm going to be watching this in a minute and 45 seconds from now. She's like, I love it. She cannot wait to do the co-op with me. But the problem is, you have to play for over 20 hours to unlock it in Infinite Well. Right now, we're about eight and a half hours into the game. We're going to play it again tomorrow night, which will get us over 10 hours in. But I think you see the point I'm making. Since no one really is showing up and supporting these streams, they're pretty much my deadest streams of the week, I can't play it as much. I have to basically make it a night stream. Now, it could take me another two to three weeks at this rate as a night stream to get to this island and finally be able to do this co-op gameplay with my wife. So you see why it's disheartening for me, right? I was hoping this was going to be something that we'd be into like right away, maybe even in the first week, and we'd be able to do... We okay, let's do a root cause analysis of this complaining segment. I'm going to do it here in this comment section. So first we start off. The root cause is people don't support the playthrough. Then, second, that snowballs into um, put the game on night stream. Right? This makes it into um, it's hard to progress in the game to get to the point that I want to get. Okay? Number four. Uh, what do we get from that issue? It's hard to progress, so we're not going to play with Cat anytime soon. So you see here, the actual number one issue is that people don't support the playthrough. So this whole segment is just because people didn't give him enough money. If they did, the game would stay on the day stream. He would be able to progress easily, and eventually you guys would get to play with Cat. So you, we got to figure out exactly what happened here. Um, and I guess we can just get into the state of play right away. This is a state of play, guys, everybody. Thanks you for... Thank you for watching and enjoying the Swaycast number nine. Now we're going to take this time to enjoy the Sony state of play. And I'll see you guys around next time. Whoever wants to stay on, of course, you're allowed. Uh, and it's free. So let's go. Let's see what we got. I think this one is uh, Hell Divers 2. Yeah. this looks pretty all right uh it's not my thing but if you like hanging and banging with your friends you're probably gonna be banging the shit out of this game ah but it's lagging like a bitch what is happening Right, good stuff but the thing is we've already seen this before we've seen like three trailers and five gameplay trailers of this so uh, i need something more there we go well it's almost coming out it's coming out on the uh, uh, eight Hi, days from now I'm an actual week from now station studios and i'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024 Oh, this the guy is definitely Dutch. PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds, and groundbreaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus with new features, including PS5 game streaming. 
and with PSVR 2 and PlayStation Portal, which released last November, we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for audience to interact with their PS5. But none of this means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended gameplay and announcements we hope you find as exciting as we do here at PlayStation. Enjoy oh, we're the gonna show. get a an extended uh, extended look at at Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade. I'm not exactly sure what Stellar Blade is, but I'm looking forward to Rise of the Ronin. Okay, here we got some some Japanese centric girl. I'm a big fan of those. Shift up. This uh, it's actually the first time I've heard about these guys. Might Welcome even be the name the of the world game. Who fucking knows? The story begins on post-apocalyptic Earth, where a mysterious enemy called the Natiba has forced the human race to flee to an off-world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the Seventh Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. That's where the Alpha Nativa is. So this must be 807. This kind of looks like uh, those near games. Squad provides engineering support. Then Somehow. Artemis the second. Then I can be your engineering support. She puts her techni puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here, yeah. done. Something does feel different. All right. I mean, it looks kind of. I don't know. I haven't really seen much gameplay yet, but. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe Zion. and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will gradually loosen up as Eve tools? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Oh. Definitely looks very generic. I see we have very this. derivative. I can't believe the Angel is here. This but if the gameplay is tight, Eve then now. it might be worth it. Please save my younger sister! Wait right here! Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. Oh no, it's a wasteland. That gives them an excuse to just make a bunch of this sandbox levels that are just bland and empty. And malfunctioning machines and robots. Yeah, don't don't be put off by all the L's in their chat. Those people that watch these events, they don't like anything. They don't want anything. They just show up to be caters, dude. Which I can appreciate. At each camp, Eve can purchase. They're gonna have a huge pop for uh, GTA 6. They're gonna announce GTA 6 is exclusive to PlayStation, dude. Just watch. I promise. They're gonna announce a Bloodborne PS5 uh, remake and a PC port. She can also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. I mean, okay, but still. Eve will often encounter people in need and other non-human beings. Hello. Who may need I her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Nativa, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or something worse. Yeah, this looks like uh, Atlas Fallen. You guys remember Atlas Fallen? Eve. I do. What are you uh, going but to do very vaguely. It's Alpha a very Nativa. mediocre game. All I played it on stream once. Exist for one sole purpose. It kind of looks like one of those games that just kind of exists. Right. 
maybe the combat is pretty good, but can the, the combat save it from everything else that looks super repetitive and derivative and uninspired? I can do this I don't know. It won't be easy. I don't know, I guess time will tell. That's the unofficial name for members of the Eve Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it. And I will make it pay. Open it! It's windy! I can see this game not being very successful. The drone is different. This is no longer the drone you knew. Has this even been announced before? Or is it just like the first time we're seeing it? Because if it's the first time we're seeing it and we get like an extended gameplay look, well, it's not really an extended gameplay look, it's just a gameplay look. There's still a lot of credit for the devs. This stellar blade? Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah, the chat is not having any of this shit. Look at all these L's. And some W's in between, and some people that post both the L's and W's. That's about the chat you can expect for for these kind of events. Okay, what do we got next? State of 안녕하세요. Play. 대표이자, Game that was the, the devs that made this. This game was the devs that made this. This game was the devs that made this. This game was the devs that made this. PlayStation 5 and PlayStation Studio was the devs that made this. This was the devs that made this. Alright, April 26th is the release date for this one. I mean, you're excited. It's not it's not a long time from now. And we get Sonic! I am fucking Sonic. Yeah, you can't fuck with me, yeah. I'm a fucking hedgehog. And I got straps on my back. Look at this dude, a huge pop from the crowd. Except the whole chat is just L's and W's. You can't even tell. You can't even tell if those people even like the game. You can't even tell if those people even like video games. It's such a great event. Okay, some of that stuff looks cool and I'm not even like into Sonic and stuff. It just looks cool And Sonic and Shadow Generations coming fall 2024 and now we got the Hoyoverse. Oh, yeah Pull out your cocks everybody Keep your cum rags close because we about to bust The music is pretty fun. Everything else, I can't even tell what's happening right now. It's just like I'm watching an anime on, on like crack. All right, this was, uh, at least this one was quick. It's triple Z. What does it say? Zenless zone something? in development for PlayStation 5. Okay. And Foam Stars. There we go. Let's get foamed up, everybody. Bring your your whitest, most transparent shirt to the party. We're about to get covered in foam. And yeah, this looks fucking boring, man. I, I just can't. I just can't. 
even tell what's happening on pretty much all of these clips. It's just a bunch of foam. This game would be much better if we add sex to it and just remove everything else. This is just foam and sex. Hey, there we go. That was a quick one. We got this one out of the way. Party begins five days from now, February 6th, as part of the PlayStation Plus monthly games. It's free if you pay for the other thing. And is this Dave the Diver? It kind of looks like it. Dave the Diver DLC? Yes! Oh my god! Look at this! He's diving so hard, dude. Oh, what the fuck was that? A shark? Shark to puss? That was an actual shark to puss. God damn it. Coming to PlayStation this April. There we go. Big hype. This is Godzilla? Getting Godzilla in, in Dave the Diver? It's the biggest crossover since. I don't even know. The last one. Epic style. Dave the Diver and Godzilla, May 2024. Yeah, that, that was like the, the, the first one that looked pretty fucking badass. And now we got Stunlock Studios on the menu. What do they even do? Oh, a, a Diablo themed adventure. Actually, how is Dave the Diver supposed to go up against Godzilla? What the fuck is he going to do? This looks uh, pretty cool. Yeah, this might be V Rising, but I don't really know much about that game to... Exactly, but it does look like the guy. Yeah, that's it. You guys are right. There you go. V style rising. Is it like a what a full release or a PlayStation port? I don't even know. But you're getting the game. That's all that matters. Get a Maddie. Who's the next? One? Hi everyone. I'm Sean Benson. Hello, Sean. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. Oh, dude. Let's take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. Oh, Silent Hill! Silent Hill! Okay, let's get hype. Let's see what's next for Silent Hill, actually. Maybe I can be like her. Here goes. Oh, she's gonna do the suicide. And she didn't. Is this a dream? Is this a VR game? Because they're making it seem like a VR game. What's with this place? Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. What are you hiding inside? Maya? I don't know. I don't know if, um, I don't know. Silent Hill, the, the short message. Full game free to play. Oh, so I guess it's some kind of a weird kind of PT spinoff type of thing. Demo type of thing. 
I'm not exactly even sure what this is. Let's see. Let's see if this gentleman tell us what this is about. ご覧いただいたのはサイレントヒルザショートメッセージという全く新しいサイレントヒルとなります。本作は本日この後プレイステーション5で無料配信いたします。コナミが送る最高のコラーをぜひ体験してください。それでは最後にこちらの映像をご覧ください。So this is a special preview. Thank you, Japanese person. Is he the guy? Dude, it's the guy from the original game that killed his wife. Spoilers. Well, this is supposed to be the remake, right? Yeah. The rock music, but sure, it, it kind of looks all right. This is supposed to be Silent Hill 2 Remake, I assume, because、uh, this is James and it's in third person. Yeah! But isn't this the one that, that Bloober team is working on? Yes, it is. Development for PS5, wishlist now. And I'm very concerned that Bloober team is behind this because they are not very good at、uh, being original and、uh, not ripping off anybody and gameplay. What if I told What do you, you got next? every word you say is being recorded? Space style game. Every thought you've ever had. Your love. Please do, pod lady. Or not. Please set me free, please. So, this is a, a Bioshock type thing. I assume. It looks exactly like it. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Reminiscent of the bio style shock. <laughs> Fix what you broke. Now. And it's called Judas in development for PS5 from Ghost Story. There we go. Now let's roll in the next one. Vertigo Games presents. Presents. Stare into the flame. Think of this fire as a beacon. It's yeah, they're big fans of Chris Jericho. <laughs> Now, collaboration with Deep Silver. Focus your mind on your wife, Dmitry Glukovsky. Oh, this is a metro, right? This is the metro the game. There we go. There you go, guys. This is the one. The VR style. Metro style. Russian style.
spooky style. <laughs> oh shit! Holy fuck. This is what I'm talking about. This legitimately fucking scared me. I got fucking shivers from this. God damn it. In the fucking trailer? Get the fuck out of here. This is a, it's a zero out of ten. Zero. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, what do we got next? This is Urban Wolf Games. Oh my god. Diversity. Urban style wolf. And it's VR. Very nice. You get to, to stab some skeletons and some zombies. different weapons you can smash tables i mean this is probably very good on on br if you can get it for free and you also steal the vr headset from somebody wow, this is like skyrim This is a skip. This is definitely a skip. Give us something else, dogs. What do we get? Legendary Tales. ARPG. In VR. There you go. February 8th. So it's just about to come out. Which is kind of suspicious. Then we get... I knew you. Dragon. A risen one. Oh, it, oh, is this uh, Dragon's Dogma 3? I'm actually excited I for this one. This one looks great. Mistake. The dragon will appear before Hell yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. The time is come. Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, it's 2. What am I talking about? There we go. Yeah, this looks hype as hell. When is this coming out? Watch out! Truly are formidable, Arisen. Make manifest your will. That's the last of this world. Might. This looks really good. Man. All the different weapons and all the fun animations, getting on top of the bosses. This is so, so good. Thy will. Please just don't be trash. Just don't be trash. It's not that hard. Come on, you almost made it. Carve thy path anew. There we go. Baller alert. Yet your wicked schemes will I'll drop a release date now. Watching one. March 22nd, there we go, dude. It's like two months away. Month and a half. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, nice. We get the Rise of the Ronin expansion. Uh, first look type of thing. Extended look. What I mean. Alright, let's get into it. Team Ninja, the ballers behind um, such hits such as Neo, Neo 2, Neo 3, Neo 4. ホンサクの舞台の一つ、横浜です。ウォーロン・コーリン・ダイナスティ。ああ、いいね。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだよ。ロードだ
looks nice. Very nice. Open world, the traversal seems fun. Oh, combat looks tight. Yeah, this is pretty badass. But why is it such bad quality? What am I watching it on? 480? Because it's been chopping up the whole time. I don't even know. Why. Chopping up like crazy. Alright, yeah, you definitely got some kind of a... Uh, also, paranormal enemies up here. Oh, this guy is some kind of a demon or something. This not just a normal guy. Maybe he is. Brother? Oh, yeah, this is chopping me. I gotta lower this shit down. I gotta lower this shit down. Yeah, maybe I'll just chat. Let's see. Yeah, this is pretty badass. This looks nice. Let's try boosting it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. It looks a little bit difficult, but maybe it's gonna have difficulty settings for the, the casual people. But, you know, all the other games that they've done are pretty hard. That's kind of the gimmick. Right, we got some destruction going on. That's nice. That's nice. I like this one. That's cool. Nice set pieces. Oh, Alright, and it's almost here. It's March 22nd. It's not good. I'm happy with this one. Hopefully we get some bangers like this for the rest of the show. I don't even know how long it's gonna be. I, I guess it's like half an hour more, and that's that's all. Now we get PlayStation Studios. What did you do? Just messing around, man. That wasn't serious. Ballistic Moon. It's the first time I've heard of this studio. Oh, it's until dawn. Is this the... There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. What is this, a remake? Oh, give you ten seconds. No, please, no! The past is beyond I mean, This game control. was bad the first you time around. I don't know what they can do with it. It was just a prank, man. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice is yours. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Sam. Yeah, I don't know why we even need this, but I guess, yeah, Looking sure. We build and enhance for PS5 and PC until dawn. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Well, I mean, the original one was running like trash, so I guess if you liked it, then you can pick up this one, but I, I think it's a pretty bad game with bad writing. And <laughs> they said that the purpose was the writing is bad, but I'm, I'm not buying it. And this is interesting. And Kojima Productions. 
And this is not Death Stranding 2. This is the other one that he was working on with uh, with Jordan Peele. Yeah, it's OD. What I was thinking of. What happened to Death Stranding 2, though, makes you think. <laughs> does look like that person OD. Hmm. Is this Leah Sedu with the mask? She was in Death Stranding too. Very, very attractive woman. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's her. Wait, is it Death Stranding? What does it have to do with the first game? Oh yeah, it is! There we go! It's the little baby boy. With the, oh, this is even crazier than the first one. What the fuck is going on? Why did that cat have wings? Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. And to the GHV Magellan, our mobile base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. Why are they all pale like they're dead? Oh, well, now we get These guns. These rooms over Look here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's the with same deal as America. all the new stuff that are not People really are established in the original game, it feels kind of from random. One another. Like all those, want you to help the, the, the little the mask together. she has with the fingers and stuff. This little <clears throat> puppet Sam, guy on her shoulder. Join you? Humor him. Mm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Is this guy supposed to be really, like Neil Sam? Druckmann or something? Your buttocks. What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> oh, we got a guy with a fake accent. Sam, That's great. You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. That's the thing with Kojima. A lot of his ideas connected very well in the first Death Stranding. They actually did. If you bother to, to oh, research man, what they mean, if you didn't the get UCA. them the first time, they actually did connect very the well. They're very good ideas. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Okay, so we Just have like with Mexico, Rocky they bio. want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway. The DHV Magellan's here to back you up. get some of the tools we're gonna get? As always, you'll be the one leading Oh, we got a sand biome. I'm a fan of that. What's your role in all this? You're the commander, huh? That's right. These days, I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together. Right, there is water now. Born. This is, the uh, good. Oh, and it destroys your... But I'm afraid the death stranding is far from over. Humanity is still in danger, still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. All right, that's a good visual. A lot of things changed after you went off on your own. And we got an Elden Ring can spider. Very nice. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, oh, and humanity will be free the, the robots. Because you can't kill people in this game, so we get to Boss kill robots. Capable of handling deliveries. There you go. So now you actually He's have alive. combat. Stop crying you about the game not ghost, having combat. You have it now. Way back from the beach, just so he could kill. Even us. though you had it in the first one, we're just not leaving. Say he came back to get revenge on you and me. This is the 
enemy. Is this the same guy from the first one? Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Oh Seeing my god, it's still the same guy. The fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. The guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided okay, to. This is the one thing I'm disappointed about. I want a different a villain. Go man. I don't want this guy. Get him out of here. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull. I even forgot his name from time. the first one. I gotta look it up now. Oh, what actually. about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless uh, little husk, huh? Let go of me! Oh, yeah, it's kids. Kids, yeah. But I'm tired of it. Where's the rest of your band? <laughs> well, ain't that something? And why does he look like a, you, a Joker huh? mixed with Marilyn Manson? Is it you the kid, Lou? Mixed with the crow. You still don't know, do you? got a ninja guy. If this guy has a guitar gun, dude. I mean, like, how many insane ideas can you throw in a video game until it kind of doesn't even make sense anymore and it gets goofy? Because, like, the first one had a billion weird ideas to begin with, and this one has uh, all this shit that you just saw. Which wasn't never established in the first one. Something he said. You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. All right, Sam. Let's see what we can find. I'm gonna play it because I really like the first one, but if you want answers, you're I gonna have know. to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse, will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Yo, is this Lou? Did Lou actually grow up? Don't forget. He actually grew up on this expedition was wasn't meant supposed to, to find a strength Maybe. to carry on. Nobody and you knows. Have. We all know you've got this. Death Stranding now it's time 2 to on the beach. Journey, Sam. There we go. Please understand, Sam. I don't know. Like like any Never Kojima game, when it gets long. revealed, you're like, what the fuck is this, man? That this chrysalis, we found no her sense. inside. And then it makes a lot of sense after it was filled the, with the fluid that contained amino acids. Dialogue and One's context. identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. And it was a hellhole. Should we have you connected? See, after you left bridges, oh no, I it's bad. To do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. <laughs> Twenty twenty five. Oh wow. God damn. So we got Norman Reedus, Leah Seydoux, El Fanning, Shioli Kutsuna, and some other guy. Well, I would rather have one game like this instead of three games that are just a generic shitty and now ass. Here with me today uh, is visionary game creator and founder of thong. Kojima Productions. So I'm cool with this Kojima -san. one. Kojima Song. Oh, it's Kojima Song. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. はい、え、ソニーさんとは、え、ほぼ 30年に渡りエスピオナージ物を一緒に育ててきたという強い経験もあります。え、またソニーさんは、え、ゲームだけではなく音楽も映画もされています。
、えー、間違いなく強力なコラボレーションになるはずです、えー、さらに2年後には僕の、えー、ゲーム制作人生の40周年を迎えます、えー、このタイトルが、えー、僕の集大成の作品になると確信をしています A new action is being a game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? I'm not sure if I'm going to say that 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 All right, well, it's interesting that you have people that are actually willing to do that shit instead of just making generic derivative dog shit. More details to come. So I'm, I'm all up、uh, with him on this one. I might not buy it, but I'm happy it's gonna happen. Whoa, look at this. I just, know what, I, I just don't know what that outfit was, because that outfit was something else, man. He's wearing that big. Oh, Columbia Pictures, look at this. Oh, our boy's in Hollywood now. He's balling out with Jordan Peele. He's hanging out with、Before、Jeff k e e l e y I have one question. Yeah, what's up, Sean? State of Play will return February 6th with an extensive look at Final Fantasy VII. Wait, that was it? Square Enix will be sharing new gameplay details along with exciting news you won't Bro, miss. Bro, I take shits longer、We、than this show. What this the hell show. was this? See you soon. What? Don't go, Sean. Don't go! Please stay, please. We didn't even get to know each other. Is it over? Oh, yeah, it's actually over. <laughs> What? 45 minutes? Not even an hour. Come on, man. You should have just played like a Fortnite trailer or something. What the hell was that? I don't know. Let's,、uh, let's vote in chat. How do you guys rate this? How do you rate State of Play?、Uh, no, actually. Which grade is state of play best?、Uh, this lasted probably less than a fucking DSP begging segment. What the hell, man? So we got an A, B, C, D, and that's, that's about it. You probably can't rate it an F.、Uh, I would give this like a, a C, plus, I guess. Nothing surprising, nothing too crazy. I enjoyed the look into Death Stranding too. But you know, with those games, it's just like you just get a bunch of stuff that makes you,、uh, they just make you ask more questions. So, how was our friend Philip doing?、Uh, he's doing about as bad as last time we left him, except he is now at $65 reduce out of 100 ones. So, I guess he's doing more positive. The business is saved. He will eat food on his day off, confirmed. And tier one has been hit. Sony and Hideo uh, but I guess that's it for me, man. That's it for me. I did a lot today, a lot of work.、Uh, so thanks everybody for stopping by. Let's see how the, the votes are doing. So most of you gave it a C. I would say a C is a pretty fair rating. Nothing really crazy on that event, nothing all that interesting. We got some release dates, but you could get the release date without even watching the event. So it's not really anything that、hey, you, you don't want to miss. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you again on the next Swaycast.、Uh, children's、Quite、Entertainment for Adults. And、uh, listen to this sound so, clip, please.、Um, this one. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. That's it. Peace out. Big ups.